Shouts the QQ hurts, it's driven you insane. So mad you rage, so mad you rage. From being the best and the champion and the strongest man in the tournament, reuse the name, don't test the strength. Cause he wanted to get helicopter kicks to the face, vortex, so fly across the place. Show the kind judo, what you think? Either way, I gotta get this exact today. Criminals wanna use my assets, but I will not give in to the dark intent. My enemies are never gonna be as fast, so I'll power up an energy blast.
man, so get just one of the luck. Cause I'm the second barefoot black belt to step up. Ray when Ken put the arcade and arcade and arcade in your face with karate. And you wonder why you've got no chance. Let me simplify. You had a can't, but we are the Morgan. Ken Masters, that's the heart of it, a bastard. Strongest one that you will ever have to react to. I strive for strength, both physical and lyrical. And no way I will ever blow a punch, I'll just pull Chun Li. And then this Ken is gonna get a Tai Chi Barbie. And that Street Fighter, Alpha Male, Absolute Battle, and never frail. Tom Macabat, and never fail. Rule Warrior, hard as nails. I'll tie you in knots like thoughts and legs. When God is mad, and that's a fact. Your skills are shocking, like black is back, bitch. I'll be cheap, beats with tactics and tactics. Insert the chord straight away and press start to play I'll hit you off the ground, ground falling forth from one mile high Off the ground, ground falling forth from one mile high So don't look down, down, forward, forward, punch, bye, bye Alright, so this was the most requested for what I should make a video about. Pineapples are a giant hassle. Slice and battle with a knife, and I have to stab through all these spikes. Why they make me doubtful? I don't like to drink a snapple. I want the real thing. Let me try pineapples. Not an apple from a pine tree. Well, it might be. No, it's not as rising from the bush. A fruit better than a dime piece. All this vitamin C makes me grind my teeth. And then my wears down, can't handle it without a glass of water Now I need my fiber, please, from these pineapple squeeze this juice out I'll be back in 25 minutes, so BRB, I'm in Hawaii Got the manganese, antioxidants in the Philippines All the tropics speaking Portuguese While I eat my rings of pineapple, if you wanna be like me You better share this I'm just kidding Except not. Show the one, the one to ride in the golden sun The only one who never had a fairy growing up I was told to run until my journey is over and done Save her from his clutch, I know that I can't till I'm old enough I am the chosen one to slay all the evil with no remorse A faster horse and kill my foes with a master sword Find the tribe force and keep it away from the man I swore to kill I'm damn sure to take back the land from Ganondorf Here comes the storm Here comes the storm! I am the chosen one to get the medallion from the temples. I know it's tough, but my style is very helpful. I'm wiser now, about to bring you your repentance. I find the clouds and now you feel my rain of vengeance. The chosen one, the one who has been bestowed upon the journey that I am gonna be on, and then I will find the stones you want. I am the chosen one, the one to protect the sacred realm For seven no years they waited till And now I am back with the stages though I am the chosen one, the one that will bring the peace to high We're running the road to be insightful well, Mine is power, weapons are my tools The chosen one, to kill the zombies with the sun You cannot stop me till I'm done Listen to me as I bring the flood The one to 
one who never had a fairy growing up. I was told to run until my journey is over and done. Save her from his clutch, I know that I can't till I'm old enough. I am the chosen one to slay all the evil with no remorse. A faster horse to kill all my foes with the master sword. Find the triumph force and keep it away from the man I swore to kill. I'm damn sure to take back the land from Ganondorf. Here comes a storm. Here comes a storm. I am the chosen one, the one with the power, with him and courage, reach the tower. This is my burden, bring him down, is now for certain. I am the chosen one, the one who will know what the lens of truth. Zelda's what I'm meant to do. Listen to what I'm telling you. The chosen one, watch as I walk on the rainbow bridge. Rather I wake in the six stages, breaking the barrier, taking the risk. The chosen one, the one who will bring down the castle of the rocks Defeat all the beasts and then get him will drop And never the I can't be stopped Make him away because Zelda unlocks The key to the guards are from the clock In need of the forces the teams will watch What more you can, no time to walk The prophecy tells of my odyssey world well, And I'm promising that I will conquer the monster That holds on the unbalanced heart of the realm To shatter the beasts and defeat him or else The chosen one, the one to ride in the golden sun The only one who never had a fairy growing up I was told to run until my journey is over and done. Save her from his clutch, I know that I can't till I'm old enough. I am the chosen one to slay all the evil with no remorse. A faster horse and kill all my foes with a master sword. Find the Triforce and keep it away from the man I swore to kill. I'm damn sure to take back the land with the Song of Storms.
What is up, my allies? It's NOJ, and you just watched my Attack on Titan rap. If you enjoyed it, be sure to hit the download link in the description below to support me and my music. Be sure to hit the like, share it amongst your friends, comment your thoughts below, and subscribe for more if you haven't. And you can also... On DVD, I easily defeated all my enemies. It took a lot of time, like 17 episodes, but you know that I'm meant to be. The strongest in the universe, check your scouter. Over 9,000, level of power. No one can't be killed, he'll stack it up. So cool, motherfucker, not cut the rock. Came from outer space, then I was a giant ape with a tail behind my back. When I'm fighting in a tournament, trained by Master Roshi. My G is what he showed me. Curve and destructo discus. Can't touch my fire nimbus, so. Trained by the King Kai Kyo Ken 20 times. Gohan growing up, Piccolo shows him what. Gotta be right at 10, but she done never up. Dragon Balls make a wish, bring it back to Earth again. Last time on DVD, I easily defeated all my enemies. It took a lot of time, like 17 episodes, but you know that I'm meant to be. The strongest in the universe, check your scouters. Over 9,000 level of power, or it can't be killed, cause that's what's up. Go cool, motherfucker, not crack a rock. I'm flying on the snake way. Then Nick's going Mayday. I'm battling with Frieza. And now we beat my team up. Super Saiyan that I'm gonna start. And now he's playing on a trump card. My team is up the radar. Back to life with the Dragon Balls inside Yes, I'm close enough to Dead Zone Spare if I'm for three episodes I'm fighting with the Cell now And then I die again Wow, this pain of dance to dubstep I haven't done the fusion yet Fingers to my forehead, instant teleporting Killing all the androids, 18 anymore Super Saiyan 1, no 2, no 3 now Never get a time to rest, now we gotta fight again When I'm Green Master, I will play faster. They'll call me Bonjour, just like my name was Flash. When I'm Green Master, I will play faster. They'll call me Bonjour, just like my name was Flash. But now I'm just flat, and now I'm just flat, and now I'm just flat. Saturday. 
Long ago in a distant land, I, Aku, the shape-shifting master of darkness, unleashed an unspeakable evil. But a foolish samurai warrior wielding a magic sword stepped forth to oppose me. Before the final blow was struck, I tore open a portal in time and flung him into the future where my evil is law. Now the fool seeks to return to the past and undo the future that is our coup. Get back to the past A samurai who lacks the attraction to chat My attacks are my actions that are faster than my rap Ravaged with the magic sword that was forged by the deities of this tragic world A savage born from the massacre After the masses burn, I traveled half the earth From Japan, be the master of my work And now the lost song of the land has returned Gotta get back to what? To the past samurai jack Gotta get back, get back To the past samurai jack Years ago, I could never fear a foe. See my cheat is spiritual, every move is lyrical. I'm here to school, I cool, but when I'm near the fool, I'll be back, samurai. Disappears typical. Battle cattle with Spartans to get to the master of darkness. A martial artist versus an army of zombies, lava monsters, and dragons, far and mecha and mass robotics. All this tech got me asking, how the heck do I start this? Bounty hunters are crossed and I squash them. Alongside the Scotsman, accomplice. From the sea to mountains and rockets to outer space. How I face the imposterous mad jack and the guardian of the time portal. Yeah. Reminded me that I was not the prophesied mortal. Yeah. Assessing the dice with morals. Yeah. Trying to find a wormhole. Yeah. Forever residing in the time while let's fight this divine quarrel. Gotta get back to what? To the past Samurai Jack. Gotta get back to the past Samurai Jack. Jack. Watch out. I fight for honor and vengeance. Yeah. I fight for 
for my father and brethren yeah. I fight for the right from oppression yeah. I'll fight a horrendous henchmen Gotta get back Right Damn right Jack Gotta get back All right, everybody, welcome to Polygon Invitational number 10, or should I say the Polygon Invitational number 10 pre-show? I don't know. Anyways, Daylight Savings time kind of screwed with us here. Korea does not have Daylight Savings, so our players that we were contacting were accidentally told to be here an hour later. So what we are going to do right now is we are setting up some mono battles on the Asia server. Slash join Polygon Custom to get in on the action there. We should have uh, our admin in chat as well telling y'all all of that information. So if you want to get in on some mono battles, go ahead and jump on here. In the meantime, I will... Toss it over to our wonderful casters. <laughs> All right, guys, welcome. Wow, <laughs> what a what a situation, huh, Novea? I know that really screwed us over, but yeah. we are here and we're really excited to have this and it's going to be starting shortly, guys. So if you guys, like you said, if you want to come on, hop on, we're actually on the Asia server though, so don't go on NA. Join us on uh, the Asia server. Here's the thing, though. I feel like it wouldn't be a proper properly casted show match if something didn't go wrong, you know? Yeah. If everything went swimmingly well, if everything went perfectly without a hitch, no, something went, something's not right, you know? No, that, we that live in the real world. Yeah, this is the re this is reality. This is the real world, right? They like I'm really savings. excited. Yeah, I'm really excited for you guys to come join us. We're actually in a lobby here in Mono Battles. We got a couple people already, so be sure to come join us. Uh... How, how are you feeling, Novia? Like, pumped? Oh yeah, oh yeah! I am so hyped for this. I have yeah. been waiting all week for this. I know. Uh, you if know, you... Dark is one of my favorite players, but uh, Innovation is such a strong, strong counter to him. <laughs> <laughs> like, I'm like, strong I'm not sure. Counter? Yeah. Yeah. That's like he's been winning. It. He's been winning so much against him recently. Yeah. I don't know. Like, if you think about how much work we've been putting into getting this show match started, like all the practice hours and all the casting, and yeah, oh, it's just been. And then, and then show time, and then we realize, oh wait, daylight savings, great. Yeah, if only we knew that a little bit sooner, but. Uh, no, it's okay. It happens. Yep. <laughs> it happens. You know what? We get to play in a show match. Actually, here's the thing: if we have enough players. Nova and I don't need to participate. We can cast you guys. Yeah, that's really true. I, I, I'd much rather cast a mono battle than participate in it. Yeah, that sounds know. like such a ridiculous thing to cast, but... But it's, <laughs> it's fun. There's so much be. action going on. You're just yeah. like, oh my god. There's a marine fighting a drone. Oh, man. <laughs> oh, who's going to win? Oh, the drone won. Wait a minute. What happened here? What, yeah, what is going on? <laughs> Oh, the drones were stacked. That's what happened. Okay. He did the stack trick. <laughs> you know, something like that. Right. We can, we can hype it up. We can hype up anything. We're casters. That's our job. Right? Of course. We can cast ants traveling on the ground, you know, you know, just traveling in a line, and we can hype it up and make it like, yeah, yeah, like right. the greatest thing in the Marine world. Marine is walking. His legs are moving. Here we go. <laughs> the ants are approaching their home. Is oh, the man. home ready? And the drone receive? goes down, and it places an evolution chamber. <laughs> <laughs> wait, 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 are you casting StarCraft or are you casting ants? Ants don't put down evolution chambers. Oh, you're casting ants? I'm casting ants. Ants? Oh, okay, we're moving on to bugs now. I thought we were still on Zerk. It's a, no, <laughs> they, they are I, bugs, I meant like literally as cast literally as we can cast a group of <laughs> ants just like walking in a line. Yeah. And we could just hype it up. And oh man! Seem like the greatest thing in the world. Like, yeah, like, like we we stepped on this one ant, and now his brothers are coming for him. <laughs> They're picking him up. They're taking him back to the it's hive. The, um, They're going to comfort him and bring him back to life. Exactly. Exactly. That's what I'm talking about. It's like the 2017 World Championship Series for ants. <laughs> I cast that. Did you ever play Sim Ants? Did I ever play Sim Ants? No, yeah, this was like Sim way ants. back in the day. Like I would what cast is... a Sim Ant game. That would be some balling crap. <laughs> <laughs> no. What is? What is sim? Well, 
Is that like Sims? It's it's a sim, but it's a simulation for uh, you play an ant and you get a queen, you get workers, mm -hmm. and you have to take out the red ants. Mm. Red ant battles. Okay. Um, I remember. Let's see. Have you ever played Age of Empires? Of course, of course, of course. Oh God, yes. Before Starcraft, <laughs> it was Age of Empires. Oh, I I don't know. Yeah. That that was way old school back in the day. <laughs> Hey, but I kind of like Command and Conquer a lot more. Command and Conquer? Mm-hmm. That, that was good. Oh, uh, RuneScape. Nah, I never got into that one. <laughs> I, I didn't really get into it. Like, my friends were all getting into it. They all, like, were just, like, in love with RuneScape. Oh, like, I know. You know I knew so many people. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, i like, I'll give it a shot, maybe, I, you know? I also really like Civilization, some turn-based strategy <laughs> games. Oh, man. Those, those are still fun, too. Civ game was really nice. Oh, yeah. um, it takes forever though. Yeah, and then and then I uh, I realized there was this really awesome StarCraft out there, and then I started playing it. I, I was know. playing like a uh, StarCraft One. I didn't even I didn't play StarCraft One. You didn't play StarCraft One? No, no, oh, no. Oh, you missed out. <laughs> That's what I hear. But like, I went back and tried to play it, and I was like, I yeah. Don't know. So Maybe I'm not even talking. Remastered. I'm not even talking Brutal. This is even before Brutal. I'm talking StarCraft Oh One, man, like the original. <laughs> because let me tell you something, uh, original was so much harder than Brood War. Like, it just seems like the micromanagement of everything. Like, oh, <laughs> oh no, my like, god. Yeah, like StarCraft original. Like, okay, so in StarCraft two we had medevacs, right? In, Star in StarCraft Brood War we had medics, right? So your bio army oh, yeah. could get healed by medics. In StarCraft original there were no medics. <laughs> oh man, you so there was stim? no healing. You, the only time you stim is when you're sure. Those units are never going to make it out alive. Oh. So you stim for the sacrifice of the greater good. Well, because I guess you're, it's never less getting those, you're never getting that 10 health back. <laughs> so that's that's why. <laughs> like, StarCraft original, like, some people didn't research stim because they're like, man, I'm losing 10 health and I'm never getting it back. I might as well just not research this thing at all. <laughs> and then, like, you saw this battle of, like, stim versus no stim, and then people are like, oh, never mind. You need stim after all. Well, I don't think I could go back and play again. Maybe with this new remastered version that Blizzard's yeah. coming out with, that probably will be totally worth it. I hope that that really, it looks really cool. Uh, so I'm definitely going to get into that. No, definitely. I'm glad you brought up remastered because remastered, you know, hype. Everyone I know, right? So Everyone's so hype. Everyone's saying StarCraft is going to die, like StarCraft 2, and all the Koreans are going to go back to the, the remastered version nah, and just everyone's going back to Brood War. It's not going to die. Hell no. <laughs> we have such a such a strong niche community. Oh, no. Gonna die. I don't think it will. But if the Koreans leave, then maybe we can be on top. No offense. I know you're Korean. If <laughs> I'm Korean-American. I'll best of both worlds. Revenge. Both worlds. So, like, so if the Koreans leave, I'll go and I'll just start killing it in StarCraft. I'll, I'll start <laughs> you know. it, just, it just works. So, Seeker, did you ever um, did you ever live in Korea? I did. I did live in Korea. Yes. Um, I was two and a half. I was born in America. I was two and a half. I moved to Korea. Lived there for three and a half years. And then when I was five and a half, I moved back to America because my dad wanted 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 me, my brother, and my sisters. He wanted all his kids to have an American education. He's like, you guys are gonna have such a bright future. More roads for you open up later on in life if you go, if you get an American education. So. Yeah, we packed up our crap, got on that airplane, took that 15-hour flight, came wow. back here. Only 15 hours? You got a straight flight then, didn't you? <sighs> oh, man, I went to Korea uh, a year and a half ago, and I took six planes there and back. It was like a 24-hour trip. That's a... Uh... That's 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 too long. <laughs> yeah, it was yeah. so long. <laughs> that's, so long. That's, un that's unnecessary. Yeah, because there was like layaways in the in the middle of it, so it was like I spent like three hours in Japan. I'm like, hey, I'm gonna get some sushi while I'm here at least. So definitely got that hey, airport sushi. That Japanese sushi though, that's worth it. Of course, like I'm like, hey, I'm in freaking yeah. Tokyo right now, like totally. Yeah, neat. I remember um, last time I went to Korea, I was stopped at Tokyo also, you know. Yeah. And I'm like, you know what? I'm here. Let's buy something. And then I was like, wait, I don't have the money to buy something. <laughs> <laughs> it was sad but it's okay <laughs> yeah i remember i was trying to spend all the last bit of my wands and i bought an 11 dollar
think we just lost Nikki. Did we just lost Nikki? No, they Okay. I was hey. just pulled out real quick. They want to start the game, and uh, I'm not sure what. Uh, so I think I'm, I'm going to play in this mono battle game and cast? I'm not sure. Is They're starting the game now. Uh, it oh, looks okay, like... so it looks like the mono battles are starting. Uh... Yeah. We are observing this game. So okay. we're not actually playing. Oh, wait, I'm not actually playing. I'm playing, you're, you're, I'm playing and you're not. Okay, well, what's going on here? <laughs> I can cast, but it's not going to be very good because it's, I'm just, it's just going to be from my end. Also, like, if you're going to cast, you have I to guess leave I'm solo the, casting. I think you're going to have to leave the Discord channel because I can't hear what you're saying. That's not fair. Okay, I think that's why. Uh, I Chef think that's why Chef pulled you out. <laughs> Right, I'm gonna go ahead and mute myself here. I can't get. Okay, yeah, sorry. I wasn't sure if you guys actually could hear me or if I was supposed to be in a uh, different room. So, yeah, we're loading here on the mono battles. The, this map, I uh, don't really know what to call it, but uh, let's see. Yeah, I do see a little bit of glitching, too. Really? Yeah, fuck it. I'll come in. Everybody can hear me as well. Hello, everyone. How are you doing? This is Marsh. I'm normally a production guy, but because Seeker's not here, I think I'll join in on the fun and do some of the Yay. casting alongside with Novea. How are you doing? Awesome. That's good. I'm not alone anymore. <laughs> All right. So it looks like we don't get to see... Oh, this actually works with my UI. That's very fortunate. We don't get to see uh, what units people can uh, select until I suppose they start building them. Uh, uh, anyway, it'll be uh, a surprise for us all then. Yep, yeah, let's let's get on into the game. All, all right, right, so welcome everybody like... to wait. What is this map? It's 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 too big. It's <laughs> oh, Kimmeran Refuge. For those of you veteran mono battles, why is my sound there? You... We have sound as well. All right. Uh, we have two teams. One of them is Team Red, and on Team Red we have a Zerg player. It's Felipe, and his teammate Shaft. Oh dear, did they team up Shaft and Felipe? That's that's not good. <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> All uh, right, and spawning in the upper right-hand corner of the map, we have Seeker, our, my co-caster here, playing as the Blue Terran. And his uh, his teammate, not opponent, I'm not sure if I'm going to say this person's name right, but playing as the blue Zerg, we have Kakuna Bandit. Kakuna Bandit. Wait, it, Kahuna? No, that's Kahuna. The big Kahuna Burger. Or the the, the Dragon Ball Z thing, uh, thing of a bob. Kakuna is a Pokemon? Wait, eh? that's, that's a Pokemon, right? I don't know. I don't watch Dragon Ball Z or play Pokemon. We're, we're <laughs> professionals. We, we're supposed to know what we're talking about, even when it's uh, other references. Oh, things. yeah, it's it's a it's a it's from Dragon Ball Z. Yeah. It's from Dragon Ball Z. Right. Yeah, you were right the first one. Kuna. Oh. Right, are we getting are, are we getting corrections from chat? Is that it? Is that how you know, or did you just Google it? <laughs> no, I just pretended to know. All right. Like well, said. excellent. There you go. <laughs> All, right, All right. Well, we've got uh, Shaft. Um, you know, gearing up for some shenanigans and uh, telling his opponents what he's going to do. No, that's a very nice. Telling one to the do. stream uh, what we're going to do because we couldn't see it. So we have uh, Lady no, he Bailey, did all chat Arthur, that. and Thor. Yep. Yeah, so it's going to be a little bit of a tech to get to that. 
damn, Thor. I mean, he's gonna have the lings in the beginning, which is gonna be good. So he's definitely gonna be able to, you know, do some damage and try to take out some expansions ahead of time. We do see a little sneaky expansion actually over there did, uh, from a. Uh, there's the seeker. seeker. What's? I did that Overlord spotted. It's uh, this great nope. possibility that Overlord might have spotted it. No, nope, just missed it. Ah, perfect timing then on that. So we've got the Zerg early expanding on both sides and the Terran not as you would expect. Wait, is that the fat? You could have just lowered. You could have lowered that wall. You know. Did you see all those drones going all? I'm saying <laughs> that. Yeah, all these drones. What? <laughs> All right. Uh, All right. Well, yep. that was a long travel. Wait, he's uh, seekers. The march of an the engineering drones. bay. What? What in in Thor's makes you need an engineering bay? Oh, that is sensor tower. Well, I suppose that's fair enough. Hmm. All right. We do have an overlord going down, trying to come in and get a scout. He was able to get some information, but not too much. All we right, do we see these links coming in now. For a queen's gonna pick off this queen right here and probably pick off quite a bit of drones because there's actually new units out on the field, so this expansion is definitely going to be going down here. Right, it looks like in this uh, setup my units lost thing doesn't work, so I'm guessing you're just going to have to imagine how many drones just went down there. And nothing on the side of blue in order to even remotely damage those uh, links. Yeah. So, I mean, I think that's really good that Seeker was able to build that uh, expansion off to the side that didn't get spotted because it's going to give them the economy that they need to be able to get up to the production that they need to be. So that's that was really good. He's also going for another base over here. There are a couple overlords, so they probably are going to be able to spot this out, like that overlord right here. Yeah. Well, that's uh, at least... Uh... Uh, Seeker oh, smart know, enough to just uh, go towards that new one and doesn't rally his SCVs towards the third one, I say, as he's rallying an SCV towards the third one. Oh dear. Is Shaft oh. paying attention? Is Felipe paying attention? And uh, does that SCV get taken down so that the uh, Antenna has to be cancelled? Yes, it does. Link's trying to get in the front door here. They, oh, we do have a Thor out, so it's going to be able to defend against this pretty well, but we're going to probably be able to lose a couple of these supply depots and even the bunker. He's coming in for a good uh, heal right here, but he's not probably not going to be able to save it. Yeah, there's only so much damage he can do. I guess I so. His, his teammate had Baylings, and they would have been very fucking useful there, which I think is yeah. exactly what Shaft is saying with that uh, ping there. <laughs> Oh man! Uh, if you had the blue... double spires from, uh, oh. and we just saw. There's there's a clear line into the blue base, by the way, over where uh, that one overlord and the ling is. So if Shaft were to just pull this entire rack of zerglings there, he wouldn't have to even have Felipe uh, bust this down. Yeah, here come uh, here the Banelings in here. They're going to get a really good connection here. They're going to come right in the door, and the Link Flood is happening right now. It's going to be able to make good connections with these doors, good surrounds. And, I mean, these Corruptors, they're kind of oh. useless here. <laughs> I mean, he's here, you know, for the support with the Corruptors, but there's just not really much you can do with them in this uh, Ling battle here. I think uh. that this is probably going to be over right around now. Oh my god, look at the fucking play-by-play -play caster. How is that fair? Unbalanced! Oh, Always the same <laughs> with these guys. Yeah, mono battles can be like that. It's sometimes it's like, why did... like? I think I got a Corruptor the first time I had to play mono battles, and I was like, what am I going to do with this? I'm just going to run around and shoot overlords the whole time? Yeah. Well, it <laughs> it's like, like, look, they just pop, and they're, you know, there's nothing they can do. Well, this is what happens when you uh, have to improvise with an hour's worth of, of content because somebody forgot about daylight saving time, and by somebody <laughs> I mean all of us. <laughs> yeah, I, I remember I did learn that a while ago, but it, it always slips my mind. It, yep. I can never remember that it, Like some people don't have it. Yeah, yeah. It's when you go down uh, south enough, and the Corruptors are actually getting in some work there, but I'm afraid actually pretty. The, yeah. Oh! Great Baneling oh. connection is there on the middle of our lines. Seeker, Seeker's, uh, you know, ninja base is, is completely unscouted still. Yeah, like of they probably think it's over. It now, but, nah. Yeah. And uh, all, all, first, all on Seeker. On everything. 
Uh, who's who's seekers? It was Kakuna Bandit. I have no clue who that is. I don't know if he's he slash she is any good. Uh, but yeah. At least the one thing that uh, Team Blue is able to do right now is peeing on those buildings and with all these four crawlers going down, I'm afraid that's gonna have to wait a little bit. Of course, uh, Corruption has that, or Caustic Spray as it's called, as it's called has that yeah. um, cooldown so we can't just move from one building to the next. And now there's a pretty good surround of uh, spore crawlers and queens everywhere. So going for these fly blocks there goes one corruptor and you can't build anymore because you're dead. And here we go. <laughs> right. Your ally is this is the head. last bit of damage he could do. He knows uh -huh. that it's all up to uh, his his teammate here. But the banlings are coming in now and just going off on everything. Even uh -huh. the planetary fortress trying to defend. Oh. oh, the workers trying to heal. It's down to like no health on fire. Oh man, he is staying in this game as long as he can. He is not giving up. Looks like we've got Total Biscuits <laughs> going to do a little bit of commentating as well. As lift off! Lift off! No! That does get taken down. That's the last of the command structures, actually. I believe something's floating Please, over here. And yeah, I believe at this point we're going to find out just how BM our casters really are. Uh, <laughs> as we see. <laughs> you can't get it anyways. <laughs> <laughs> He is, uh, oh, he man, is correct, going for a actually. Draw. We have queens, yeah? And you have dead space. Sorry, buddy. <laughs> oh, man. Mm. <laughs> <Yep. laughs> wow. Well, right, so now, this go. is going to be the most... Uh, this is one of the difficult things to cast. We're, we're attempting to cast a draw here. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, uh, well, there, there you go. Polygon uh, Polygon Gaming's very first, uh, you know, wandering into mono battles gets uh, a result into either uh, this command center and this command center and... Oh, no, nope, that one actually just blew up. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, man. Oh, the they did Oh, <laughs> <laughs> That was very G funny. GG. <laughs> Alright, let's put your pretty face back on. Next to a slightly frustrated... No, Seeker's okay. He's, he's not... He's not. Okay, that's that's <laughs> kind of bullshit. Like, you can't... You can't win that. No, it's kind of unfavored sometimes. It's, it's like the luck of the draw. It's, it's Corruptor... Like... It's corruptor. It's corruptor Thor. First of all, super late tech units versus like, like are you like are you fucking kidding me? Like that's yeah. I mean, he just because of the fact that he got the links that just won them the game pretty much. You know, like they they could have they could have killed us very easy early on because we oh, can't. Yeah. We literally can't make anything. Yeah. Well, there's um... that expansion that you had though off to the side was really hilarious. It went unscouted for so long. Which one? The one expansion you had that secret hidden one to the left that was yeah. that went unnoticed for quite some time. Yeah. Uh, uh, <laughs> also, also went went a bit to show to see that uh, both the other side wasn't familiar with the map either because when uh, Shaft was trying to bust down your uh, your wall. You know, there was a side entrance, which was There was a off. side entrance. I was like, this is retarded. I <laughs> literally can't walk. I, I map think is dumb. I think that map is actually supposed to be played by 4v4 mono battles. Yeah, that's what it just, is. Yeah, because yeah, then you like, get more mix of units that no, way. Because then you have two other people on the other side who can wall up. You know? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I don't know. It, that, was, that was dumb. Whatever. I don't care. <laughs> that was definitely wasting time. Honestly, like I, I should have won. You should have won alone. You should have just, you should have just drone rushed or something, like worker rushed. Like I should have won, but <laughs> I, sh I would have won had it been anything other than corruptors. Anything else, I would have won. Alright, we've got another lobby being set up. We've got another 15 minutes before the actual action of Innovation vs. Dark. I know you're all here uh, for that, 
but because we're idiots, uh, we didn't... Look, Korea doesn't have daylight savings, okay? And all of us have over the last two weeks. And, and uh, during practice, this was actually uh, a bit of a fuck up because at one point America went to uh, daylight saving and I didn't show up for that practice because, you know, it's in an hour, right? It's totally in an hour. <laughs> Uh, so yeah, uh, that fucked us uh, two weeks ago during practice, and sure enough, here you go, during the actual live thing, uh, it's, uh, yeah, it's, what is, it's being fun again. So What is this one? Is this also Mono Battles? This is Zealot Hockey. Oh dear. Oh, Zealot Hockey. Oh dear. If it's Zealot, Zealot, if it's Zealot Hockey, hockey then let me cast. You can, you can <laughs> cast. I, I I gotta I gotta switch out of uh, cast or hotkeys because I'm pretty sure I'm not I oh, let me go to standard. <laughs> what what hotkeys do you need for zealot hockey? I don't know. I don't know. I don't play this game. That's why I was like, let me just. I don't really play it either. I'm just gonna learn yeah. it right now. <laughs> uh, I, I got to learn it when we had to kill uh, 30 minutes between Polygon Invitational number 5 and 6? Six? 6 and 7, something like that. I don't know. Mm. Uh, Is this actual I hockey? I, um, yes. Yeah, so, so basically you have these zealots and you have a puck, right? And you move around these zealots with this puck and you try to hit it into a goal. It's based, It's exactly like hockey, but it's just hockey for StarCraft. I, except okay. you don't What are the hotkeys to use for it? Be beats me. What? Is there different hotkeys, like specific ones? Um, well, Q, W, and E know. maybe, because you have there's a like shield. A, there's a there's a thing you can press that allows you to boost forward, but when you want to steal the puck, and then that's all I know. <laughs> all right. And, and, and just and to make there's... it more complicated, there aren't just zealots. You can also choose uh, immortals or. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Or, no, the immortals or... are the goalkeepers. Oh. Immortals right. are the goalkeepers. Yes. That sounds like a good goalie. The immortals of the goalkeepers. Something. Like well, that. I don't know. It's a mode. It's funny. There's actually um, there's a there's a tournament for zealot hockey. There I is. Was, uh, I was looking through Twitch, and there was this European stream for zealot hockey the finals, and I was laughing so <laughs> hard. I was laughing so hard at the time with my co-caster. I was like, dude, there's a zealot hockey finals, and we're like, what? <laughs> How, how many, like, how many like, viewers did they have? We like tuned in, they had 36 viewers. Just 36. They had 36 viewers and it was a very close, it was a very action packed game. It was a, it went into overtime and it ended at 7-6. Is this a long game? What? Is it a long game, like in general? The arcade Not really. game? Okay. Not really. <laughs> I wanted to see the brackets of that. Like, if you've got finals, and there must have been brackets. I mean, how right? There must have been teams. It's like it's so funny because it's like so it's like if you're gonna play this, that means you have to form a team, and you have to play with teammates, and you have to practice for it. So it's like, uh, it was just really funny. Like the two, I don't know, the two teams who were in the finals were apparently like the two best teams at zealot hockey. So it was just like, it was just really, really funny, <laughs> and at the same time, very, very entertaining. Oh, it's it's basically. It sounds like it definitely. Oh, uh, it's basically Rocket League, but you know, in StarCraft, so Rocket League. It's basically popular. Rocket League. It's exactly. <laughs> <what> it <is. laughs> yep, it's Rocket League. Are are you okay there? I know it's five o'clock in the morning for you, but it, this must be hard for you as well. You got yawning there and everything. What are you on Pacific time? What? What are you talking about? You're all yawning. I'm Eastern. I'm Eastern. <laughs> You're Eastern time. Okay. Wait, who who is in Pacific? It's easier if someone's on Pacific. The three hours behind. Yes. Yeah. Uh, so that means they would be even less. They should be even less tired than we are. I'm Eastern. This is a four against three. This doesn't make sense. You can't start the game when you have four people versus three. Okay, this is just retarded. I guess we're all playing. All right, we've got Zed. Um, there's a check, which is a, a hockey term. We've okay, got X, which is slide stop, which is a hockey term, and we've got C, which is a one timer, which is a hockey term, and we totally know what all of those things mean. I know what all these mean, of course. No. <laughs> Queued up a one timer shot. Oh, I think it's a power shot. You queue up a power shot instead of a regular shot. So, yeah, check is you charge forward to steal the puck. Uh, one timer, you charge up your shot so that it's a power shot so that you can hit it into the goal a lot stronger than a regular shot and then slide stop 
you want to be able to juke your opponent. Okay. All right. That's... I can't believe there's a tournament for this game. <laughs> well, people that love StarCraft and love hockey probably love this. Oh, uh, we have to vote. Right. Uh, lobby teams, auto lost. balance, single draft. Oh, well, I guess. Okay, we're doing that was lobby teams. Oh, I know what they're doing. So basically, what lobby teams is is basically what what lobby you're in is the team you you get. Mm -hmm, yeah. yeah. This is dumb. <laughs> Wait, do we have... Are those artifacts? I guess. Are those supposed to be in there, or do we have actual obstacles? I don't know. But here we go. Where's where's the puck? There's I see the puck. I see the puck. So wait. Okay, here we go. X and Oh, I missed the puck! How do you get it? Oh maybe it's Oh my god, did someone check it? Okay, here we go. Oh wow, where's it going? Where's it going? Where's it going? Get the puck! Oh. How, how do you shoot? That's how you shoot. Alright, what are these fucking things in the middle go. of the Here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go. Oh! This didn't work, I ran right into you. <laughs> oh! Oh, shit. Did you just... I think I just scored. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> no, you didn't. It's 0-0. Zero, zero. Oh, wait. Oh, man, I have it. I'm go now... Pass, pass or go for it. Go for it or pass. Go. Go. Oh! 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 And the crowd goes wild. That assist play. Woo! Right? That was oh, nice. Yeah. Good. I, oh really, man, now I'm a girl. We don't even know what we're doing. I have no idea. Oh, oh that's... Right? Oh, Kakuna, Kakuna has... She's not even in this video. Or he, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't know. Male, female, doesn't matter. I see it or not. Oh man, they're coming right for me. Oh, I was trying to check it. Lock me! Oh, I can't check it. How do you check this? Oh, Z is check. I'm stupid. I'm stupid. Z is check. Alright, here we go. Crap! <laughs> I shot it off to the side. <sighs> okay, well, here we go. Okay, he checks it and then passes it to us. Shoot it! Shoot it! Shoot it! Shoot it! Shoot it! Yeah! Nice! How do you... Stealing any think, pucks you encounter. All right. Go. I think I think immortals have a different. Hey, you we switch roles. Yeah, yep. I was just an immortal. <laughs> oh, but I can still leave. Yeah, it's... but you should stay there. Oh, you took it. <laughs> oh wow, what a play. Oh man. Oh, oh nice this, steal. This thing called a shield. Yes. Yeah, it's like the gold or into the barrier that lasts two seconds apiece. Oh, All right, Kakuna Bandit's approaching on the up. Nice, but uh, say bye, Marsh. Don't forget, we're casters. We do this. Don't worry, I'm on goal. I've got nothing better to do. As long as somebody has the puck far away from me, we got Shaft coming in out the side, trying to get a flank. And oh, Kakuna Bandit's right on. Oh, nice shot, Seekers. Got it. Oh, this is great. I can transition so, yeah. into like real sports at some point. <laughs> Alright, Kakuna Bandit, Kakuna Bandit. Ah! No! Horrible shot, what is that person doing? I feel bad for Shaft. <laughs> I'm too good at going. Oh, <laughs> uh, Z. That's how you check it. Alright, Felipe, oh, pass okay. the ball oh, to Shaft. No, the, the puck, the puck, not the ball. God damn it. Seeker uh, catches oh, it once again. Marsh for the win. And let's try to not Oh, I just gave it back to him. I did. Who is Angel? She's not moving. Oh, that's why it's. Angels are admin. Angel's the 3v3. That's why we started. It is a 3v3. Angel's in the lobby, but she's not playing. Oh, nice steal by Nova Star. Ah, no. And we got it back. There you go. Marsha, I don't think you can cast if you're in the game. <laughs> what? I'm on goal. I, that's a. Oh, no, wait. don't. Don't shoot that oh, way. God. Shot it straight. Oh! Almost. All right, Almost. Alright, Seeker on the offensive. Leaving his goal unguarded. Oh, oh Jeff oh, got it. Got it. And now all he has to do is. There we go. Oh. Two for one. 
Assisted God, by it. me! <laughs> Who is that awesome Marsh guy? I was trying to, um... <laughs> oh shit, now I'm playing again. That... Oh crap, oh. I gave them up. Wow, that was bad. That was really dumb. That was really, really dumb. Uh, Wait! Sh she's the goalie, but she's not doing anything! She can't <laughs> pass too much! She's the goalie, she can't pass too much! Goalie held the puck for a face-off! What, what, uh, what is a face-off? Okay. Oh, looks like Marsh is gonna win. <laughs> yeah, then we switch roles again. Uh, that, that way. No. How do you shoot in this game? Run out the clock. Run out the clock. Ah, oh, and the first period. Hey, I'd love to do another one of these. Uh, however, we're going to go live in five <laughs> minutes. Oh, good. Like, like an actual thing. Angel, um, Angel is AFK, and, sh and she's our goalie. I'm just like, what the? Save 100%. <laughs> Oh, hey, you know what? I had a hundred too, but I... I... Alright, well, we've, we go live in five minutes. This takes four minutes. That that fits perfectly. Well, no, there's three quarters, though. This is only... Oh, really? Yeah. Like, I so totally that, know about hockey, time. okay? I'm, I'm sorry. Oh, oh, that was done! Is that... Is, sorry, that's not that. an own goal. Nice. Nice save there. Pass it, just pass it, just pass it, just pass it, just pass it. Alright, there comes the puck going to Seeker. Seeker Kakuna Bandit coming on in there. And... I think he's playing now. Yep. That was a missed shot. Shaft coming on in there. Moving out. Jesus. Going for it and going for the goal. Oh, nice juke though. No what are you doing? What are you doing? I tried to pass it to one of you. I haven't gotten the passing part down. Alright, can you do about it? Oh, oh, oh. oh Don't give it back to them. Seriously, goalie, what are you doing? Shaft's going in for it. Hey! Ah! Look at all these assists I'm doing. Excellent. It's almost like I know what I'm doing. Oh. Nope! Oh, fuck! How do you... Shoot! Shoot into the unguarded goal! I'm a lot more coherent if I'm not trying to, to also play. Shaft going on it on the right side and he misses the puck, but Marsh, no! Novastar no. gets it first. Novea, shoot it, shoot it, Novea. <laughs> Novea, shoot it, Novea, Novea. Oh, oh Felipe's got it. Passes it off to Marsh. Marsh going off the left, flank, yes. Shoots, no! Completely misses the fucking goal. <laughs> oh, oh what the frick? Hey! Oh. Oh, Shaft intercepted. And we got a blue bar on the middle of the screen. Oh, Shaft intercepted my pass. Alright, Felipe versus Nova Star facing off. Uh, blue Team Blue's got oh it. And going straight for. Oh, nice save by the AFK. Okay, but Admin. now she can't pass it. She's, I think she's not AFK anymore. I saw her moving around before. Oh. Uh, we're she or he? I can't. I don't, I don't. Nova Stars got the puck. Moves on in there. Going to bypass Shaft. Where are you going? Where are you going? That is not oh, your yeah, goal. That's, that is that's, not your that's goal. Our, that's our goal. goal. That is our goal. I didn't realize we switched sides. Alright, Felipe is going for the StarCraft 2 crash. <laughs> no, no. Okay, good. Excellent. My game did not crash. Don't do an old goal. Oh, don't do an old goal. Oh, look at that. Savage <laughs> by wolves, and deservedly so. This is like the biggest reverse off field ever. Okay, guys, we got one minute. Let's go ahead and call it quits. Oh! All right, well, we got. All right, let's just let's just leave. Let's just let's just leave. I don't All right. Yeah. About... More importantly, Team Blue won. I'm out. All right, all right, we're all out, guys. I don't care. I just don't care anymore. I'm out. I'm out. <laughs> All right, your faces are on. I'm going to mute myself because that's how it goes. And we're not actually going to go to your faces. We're going to go to our very own Felipe, who is going to introduce this event. Felipe, take... Oh!
All right, welcome everybody to Polygon Invitational number 10. As you know, we had a little bit of a difficulty, but we are back on track and ready for some amazing matches. Tonight we have to you, for you a bout between two former teammates, two players who have faced off many times over the years, even a few times in the last week alone. Their matches are scrappy, personal, and to mere mortals like me, downright terrifying. I speak, of course, of none other than the intimidating innovation and his devil may care opponent, Dark. Presently, we will be flipping the coin to determine the map pick. So, how our map pick is gonna go is whichever player checked in and got here first, which I believe was innovation, did he gets to call his coin flip. He gets to call heads or tails. And whoever wins the coin flip gets first pick on map vetoes. Each player will trade off vetoing until we only have one map left, and that will be the map of our first match. And we will do the coin flip in just a moment. All right. So, now that I do actually have a coin, we can flip it over right here, and we have heads. So, that information is going to go into the game lobby, and we will figure out map picks from there. Anyways... While they figure that out, let's talk about our production staff for tonight. First up, you know him as Team Liquid's International Relations Director. He's one hell of a translator, and we are proud to call him a member of our staff. He is Seeker, casting with him tonight on loan from Afrika TV, former host of the ASS, or ASS as some might call it, the lovely Novea Star. And, of course, narrowly avoiding nuclear Armageddon in the south of Germany, our observer this evening, slightly radioactive, it's still everybody's favorite rock and scientist, Marsh. But before I leave you all in their ever-so-capable hands, I want to let everyone know that StarCraft is our passion. We put together these events to bring together the community and to provide insight into the players and give an opportunity for you guys, the audience, to get to know them better. This is why that we've reached into our own pockets in order to put up $75 in seed money for the event. And we think these players just deserve so much more. So if you want to help out, go over to our Match Arena page and make a donation. Every little bit counts to help out these players. And if you don't have your own money to donate, then I highly recommend that you use someone else's money, and we have just the opportunity for that. We have two Matcharino coupon codes, What's Mine is Mine and Breeze Deep. If you use that code, one dollar will be donated in your name to the prize pool for these players. And if we reach our goal of two hundred dollars, you all will get an interview with the winner of this match where you will have an opportunity to ask him your own questions. In our previous interviews, we have uncovered deep-rooted secrets such as why Classic hates Dark and an update to the Invasion Gumiho situation. But to tell you a bit more about that, here is our wonderful caster, Seeker, who will be t actually translating those interviews. <laughs> uh, thanks for that introduction, Felipe. Every time you you introduce me, you always make me so like embarrassed. <laughs> Uh, but yes, thank you guys so much for being It's going to be an amazing uh, show match between two like, two amazing players. I mean, seriously, like, innovation and dark. Like, it just doesn't get any better than that. And yes, uh, if we do hit that goal, then yes, I will be able to translate their winner interviews. And I think it's going to be fun. And then, of course, my co-caster, Novea. How are you feeling? Really, really excited. I'm really hype about this. Uh... I'm just looking at the uh, Matcharino page right now. We're so close to that goal, as you said, like 168 out of 175. So uh, I really want to see this winner interview. And I also saw all the all the other things that you can get on here, which is actually pretty cool. Like that coffee, it's a balanced breakfast. Like 
<laughs> That's so awesome. Uh huh. Uh, gotta have well, your I think breakfast. We just got another dollar. So awesome, getting really close. Yeah, to that let's goal. let's hit that. Let's hit that. Uh, let's hit that. Wow, I can't even talk. What, what am I trying to? Say? Let's hit that goal. Let's hit that mark. There it is. Yeah. Let's hit that mark, guys, because I know you want to interview. Okay, I want to hear it too. I do. Like whoever wins, whether it's dark or innovation. And speaking of dark versus innovation, you know, Novea, uh, Felipe already told us that these two are, you know, former teammates and they know wow. each other's styles so well and they've been playing each other quite quite often and, uh, you know, they've met each other on ladder and then this week they met each other on SS. Innovation won 2 0. So I'm, gonna, I'm telling you right now, Dark wants blood. Yeah, wants revenge, I bet. <laughs> you know? The. Uh, I... the I think that they're, you know, it's such a good matchup. They're both such such high level players. It's going to be really close. Oh, we actually are at 171 now, guys. This is getting really, <laughs> really close. Oh man, I can see it. Is, is it 200 or 175? Can't remember what that mark. I think a chef told me it was 200. Wasn't it, it might be 200, but it says 175 on the right. Okay, all right. Either way, if we hit a mark, you guys are going to get an interview. I know you want the interview, so you know. We we gotta we gotta get this thing going. All right, we're gonna we gotta milk this as much as possible. You don't you don't get to have these two players face off that often. So when you do get them, you need to get everything out of them as much as possible. All right, definitely. Yeah, like if 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 I had a choice, not only would I them would I have them do a show match, but uh, I'd do the winners interview. And then if I was the one in charge of this and they had no say in the matter, they just had to do it. Uh, I would also have them do an AMA, right for the for the viewers. Uh, after that, I would have them share their most embarrassing stories. Uh, I would have oh. them. Uh, I would have them uh, look in their closets and pull out their clothes from childhood and wear that. Oh wow! You know? I, I just do everything. I, I wish we could go with your ideas here. Like that sounds even better. <laughs> I, I don't think they'd really fit in those clothes anymore. But exactly right. I'd like and to see I, them try. And then I would have them do the show match again, but this time I would have them switch races. So Dark would play Terran and Innovation. Oh, and then that uh, would be I would. Fun to see. I would have them have a, a a bowl a bowl of ramen in front of them, and I say, if before you attack your opponent, you have to finish that bowl. Make it the spicy ramen, the one yeah. uh, fire noodles, the Korean the fire, fire noodles. noodles. You know, uh -huh. you know, there's a 2.0. There's a one even spicier. They made it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I had the one second spiciest one. Yeah, so I would have them eat the 2.0. <laughs> oh yeah. Like the nuclear and, and stream taste. it, and they'd have yeah. to, and like they would have to show themselves eating exactly, it. Exactly, exactly. It'll be like That's... a mukbang versus Starcraft, all simultaneously fused together. <laughs> we'll call it. We'll call it Muk Star Craft. Mukcraft, yeah. Starbang, Muk you know. Yeah, yeah you know. something like that. <laughs> all right. You have this whole thing planned out. I did. I did have this <laughs> planned out. And to be honest, I know I'm just talking about it, guys, but that's actually. These players have no say in the matter because like we own them because uh they're playing this for money so whatever we say they kind of have to do and that's how a dictatorship works so oh man there's nothing <laughs> to do about it, you know. yeah i really but, do uh, like this maturino though i actually just now uh found out about it like myself uh it's kind of like a it's for crowdfunding if you guys are unaware of what it is it's like for it's like a gofundme for crowdfunded tournament so you guys are like actually funding the tournament yourself on here like live and you can see it happening and the brackets and the updates and the stream links and a whole bunch of stuff on here and like this is it's such a cool thing to have like i did not know that this existed until now i i don't know about you but i think maturino is like one of the most amazing things ever like like I, i'm so glad they exist you know how long have you been around for helping to keep the scene alive i actually don't know about that how long is metric i'm sure they have an about me probably they must have an about me page like we started off in the i don't they don't have an about <laughs> me page never mind Hold <laughs> you're like i'm finding it um i will answer this question you know what uh for those of you who are listening you're involved with maturino or you know when they started Putting it in the chat would help us out a lot. Instead True of that. Us, True instead that. of us, instead of us guesstimating. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. Really, I really like it. Um. <laughs> and then, uh, have you had a chance to check out SE2 replay stats, Novea? 
Oh, I did. I just signed up for it today. Yeah. That is really awesome. The uh, all the advice that they're capable of giving you, mm-hmm. it's like getting free coaching. Uh, my my dream of hitting grandmaster, but thanks to SC two replay stats, I think I may be able to hit it. All right. You know. <laughs> yeah, I'm just, gonna start using that really just do right it, away. You know? Upload all my straight replays. Up, just straight up get it done. Get it done. <laughs> Yeah. Oh. It's been a it's been a long time waiting for what <laughs> Your t-shirt? the one I'm wearing? The one I'm wearing? Team t-shirt Liquid I'm wearing, I guess. Team Liquid, yeah. <laughs> yeah, um for those of you guys that don't know well I mean, you should know, I'm TL Seeker on Twitter, TL Seeker on Twitch, TL Seeker everywhere. I represent Team Liquid. I'm a staff member on Team Liquid, and you know that's it's it's the best in terms of StarCraft news. So uh, if you're not on Team Liquid, like get on Team Liquid. Yeah, everyone's on Team Liquid. Exactly, uncontested. Name me one news site that's better than Team Liquid. Mm, nope. Can't do it. <laughs> <laughs> Can't do it. Um, but it's like. But it's uh, we. I mean, we have we have consistent content, you know, and we always have a nice little calendar that features a lot of bunch a bunch of StarCraft two events and things like that. So yeah, uh, please check out our website if you haven't. Uh, I, if you're a StarCraft fan, you absolutely have yeah, to have. Yeah, everybody you know? knows about Team Liquid by now. Exactly, and then <laughs> and then Novea, you're from Africa TV, right? I yeah well I started streaming on Twitch and then I was doing a lot on Africa TV and uh, mm-hmm. now I'm kind of doing a little bit of stuff everywhere. Oh, that's that's nice. Are you are you a caster for Africa TV? Like I was, I was, but I mm-hmm. actually had taken like the past year off of casting, so I'm just kind of jumping right back into this. Well, no time, no better time like the present, right? Yeah, glad <laughs> I'm glad. <laughs> yeah, I'm just I'm happy that. You're here because we get to we get to cast like Dark versus Innovation. I'm pretty sure right. you would not miss out on that. No, I'm so oh, Dark. Dark is my favorite player because I'm Zerg, but I I'm not <laughs> I am not being biased because Innovation is such a challenge for him. I this could go either way, and I'm not rooting for either player. Well, it just so happens that Innovation is my favorite. Player. Oh really? And I am going to be biased against Dark, so so. Be oh. right for that. Well, then I might as well be biased against... Well, you innovation. might as well be, right? 50-50. We might as right? well Right, we got to even like out the, the score here. Yeah, might as well make this the most biased cast in the world. Like, we're going to be... You know, like those Twitch clips people put on Reddit? Right. You know, people are just going to be like, all right, someone needs to shut Seeker up because he is bashing Dark too much. And then two <laughs> seconds later, someone needs to shut up. Because she's making innovation look like a fool. A fool. Oh, yeah. Well, <laughs> I mean... He's, he is very cute, too. I mean, I, I love that little Korean guy. <laughs> okay. All right. Yeah, I have I yeah. have a little crush, you know. Koreans are cute. Oh, yeah. I think I'm Korean, too, so I think that's a win for me. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so it looks like we're getting started into these introductions here. We actually spawning in the bottom right-hand corner of the map, playing as the Red Terran. We have Innovation. And his opponent, the Zerg player, who was the runner-up in the 2016 WC. It is dark. I don't know about you, Novea, but I am really happy that the first map is Abyssal Reef. Because, like, this this map it just produces the most fun games. Yeah, I think so too. It's actually really good for Terran though. I think that, you know, because of the grounds, there's really low grounds and really open for drops, just like a bunch of different levels. And, you know, getting that third down is really easy to do on this map, you know, with drop pressure. No, I absolutely agree. And I'm glad you brought up pressure because, you know, we've seen... <coughs> oh, <laughs> I just started coughing and choking, got too excited. Oh man, I gotta a... breathe. Yeah. 
We gotta breathe. <laughs> gotta look how to use those breathing techniques, right? The ones that we used up in the polygon casting practices. Yeah, we do actually see a <coughs> Reaper coming in here now. We do have a queen com coming filtering in so that uh, Reaper actually is backing off. He saw the queen. He did get a scout out with it, though. He was able to see that his opponent did go for an expand. And we do have the counterlings coming in, kind of trying to pick off maybe that Reaper or kind of delay the expansion it looks like he's coming in to do, which is really typical of Dark to do. So earlier, what I was trying to say about the drop is that we know Innovation is a very, like, a per he's a player who favors drop styles. He's very good with those multi-pong prong aggressions. He's really good at distracting his opponent. He's really good at attacking from one area while also dropping in another area. And then when you think you've cleaned up two... Yeah, innovation. definitely. Innovation's multitasking is amazing. Let's go ahead and talk a little bit about the builders we're seeing here. Uh, first off, from Dark, uh, we know that he likes to play greedy. We know that he likes to drone up heavily, but we're not seeing... We're not necessarily seeing a quick third hatchery from him yet. He was waiting until his speed finishes. Now he's going to chase down this Reaper. The Reaper's going to die, but Innovation knows that the third base is not up and running for Dark yet, so he should be... Yeah, but it's probably a perfect time for him to, you know, probably put it down now, and it looks like that's what he's gearing up to do right now, to go for that third after the Reaper died. Absolutely, and you, actually, Dark is actually running... Yeah, it looks like he's trying to do a bit of a Ling run by here or be able to see if his opponent's getting the expansion, but this is another part on this map where you, you can't actually wall off the complete area. Um, so he's going to be able to come in, at least get a scout in, see if he has a third base, see he's going to be able to see these Hellions as well, and you know, this whole area wasn't walled off, so he was able to get a lot of information from that. Ooh, that actually really hurt Dark though, losing six Lings like that and getting nothing in return. Yeah. This allows Innovation to move out with his Hellions, and now he has complete map control over the situation. And he has actually a, he has a Banshee follow-up, and the tech lab on the starport is very common right now for Terran players, but they normally do a double Raven follow-up instead of a Banshee. So I like Innovation switching things up here, trying to play a little unorthodox. And as we mentioned before, these players are very familiar with each other's styles. So I'm sure Innovation, you know, during his downtime, was trying to figure out what can I do to really throw my opponent off his game. Yeah, I feel like Dark, you know, he's so used to this happening with the Hellions and, you know, he's always getting in and he always is able to do drone damage Ooh. like he's doing right now. We're actually barbecue happening oh with drones. Oh my goodness. And the roaches finally are out. They're going to be able to clean it up, but he lost so many workers there. That was 12 drones killed there, oh, Novaya. Yeah. Okay, remember that what hurt. I said? Like, Dark likes to play, play greedy, but he didn't grab a third hatchery quickly this time, so... Losing 12 workers hurts a lot. It really does if, right now. If you look at the worker count, it's 41 SCVs and 27 drones. Uh, he actually has two queens in the Overlord here. It's uh, pretty interesting that he's doing. He's probably going to come in and try to use those to pick off anything in the air. Or maybe yeah, just to I, heal units. I, we do have the Banshee. We're not going to have Overseers yet, I don't believe. Yeah, he's bringing that queen, those, those queens over in the Overlord, which is slow off creep. So he's going for a timing attack uh, with this army right now, and in order to be able to successfully do that, uh, and, and of course he needs the queens to fight off the Banshee as well. So I like what Dark is doing here, but Innovation has scouted this. Innovation has plenty of time to respond to this. Let's see what Innovation's decision here. How is he going to block this attack from Dark? Because he does have a scary amount of army at Innovation's doorstep right now. Yeah, and the corrosive vials are going to go off right on this bunker. He's going to be able to kill a couple of SCVs, and he's actually going to be able to delay the mining time of innovation. So he's making a pretty decent comeback just for what he's doing, but he's not going to be able to really push through here. And the siege tank is out here now for innovation, so I don't see how... Mm. He has nothing that can kill this tank other than rep. Yeah, and just not too many Ravengers. The Queens are actually taking damage here. One Queen going down. We're not going to be able to use any of the Transfuses, even though he's stopping Innovation from doing any mining. This is just not looking good for Dark. And we have the first GG. Innovation takes the first win in this best out of seven. After that initial pressure from Innovation with his 12, I'm sorry, not 12 Hellions, with his Hellions and Dark I lost 12 drones. Them. Yeah, it was six Hellions. Dark lost 12 drones. He did not replenish those lost drones. He went no. for an all in. He, he's, yeah. like, he's like, I have a late third hatch. I'm down in worker count. There's no way I can play catch up because he's already got CC on the way. I'm very behind. I might as well just go for it and try to kill him off. And Innovation's like, I know that that's the only option you have left. Yeah, so he got that siege tank out in the perfect time, and that just held him back. I mean, with once that tank got in and the queens went down, it was, 
it was done for it from there. There's nothing you can do. Yeah, it was it was just it was a shame that Dark lost those twelve drones because he was doing very good so far. Like he shut down the Reaper Scout and then he had well he lost those six links, so that hurt him a lot. He 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 lost map control. But he was in an okay position. He wasn't anywhere near out of the game yet. But once those twelve drones died, Dark was left with two options, either play catch up or go mm -hmm. for the all in. That was it. There was nothing else he could do. And innovation knowing that, just decided to stay home, play defensively, and just completely read his opponent 100%, knew exactly what he was doing. Yeah, I really want to see... I'd really like to see, you know, uh, in the future, you know, how he's going to be able to really counter against this, because it's like he's not getting the roaches out fast enough, and it's like these Hellions have always been doing damage. Like, the, these Hellion pushes that Innovation likes to do are just... They're so strong, and he's really good at coming in at the perfect time before there's units. I think that's just... It's just because both players understand this matchup so well, and they know exactly what they need to be able to execute the perfect build order slash perfect attack timing. Definitely. So while we've got some time here before the second map gets loaded up, uh, I was asking you earlier about like Africa TV and that experience. How was that for you? Uh, I was just a cast or I just did a couple of events for them. I did some League of Legends events too. It was really fun. They, you know, they sent me to Korea. So that was really awesome. I, I, I stayed in Gangnam Seoul and it was beautiful. And it was the time of my life. Uh, so I really support them. I really love Africa TV. You guys should definitely support their global channel. They started you know, with the new global channel that they're trying to get, help get, trying to get set up here and established here in America, and then on the uh, NA side of things. So go support them. You know, they're the ones with GSL now, and they actually have an event going on right now. It's called Streamcraft. They're giving away an Africa Freaks sweater right now too, which is really cool. Streamcraft. That just sounds fun. <laughs> yeah, they. This is the second time they did it. They gave away a Razer Chroma keyboard before too. Oh, that's really nice. A Razer yeah, Chroma keyboard? Bad. There's no way I'm going to turn down a, a giveaway of a Razer. Like, yeah. I, I want it. You, For sure. They're giving me? away a mouse right now, so... <laughs> <laughs> There's lots of events all the time. Hmm. Alright, so... Ugh, I, I, I was kind of checking the Twitch chat, and apparently I'm having mic issues again, which... I don't know why this is happening, because I was perfectly fine during practice. For some reason, that always happens when we go live with like, on gaming. I don't know what it is. I think it might just be your mic cutting out randomly. Is it? Mm-hmm. Ah, oh, jeez. Every time I hear it, I just try to take over. <laughs> That's good. That, that, that means I have a very, like... Oh my god, I can't speak. There's a word that I was looking for and I can't remember what it is. It's just a, a very good co-caster. Very oh. competent co-caster. Well, thank you, well. thank you. <laughs> <laughs> thank you very much. Go ahead oh, and take yes, your bow. Yes, Brush the shoulders off. Brush the shoulders off. Yes. Take your bow. Do a little dab. We're good. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, I can't believe you just made me do that. Did you do the dab? I did. You missed it. Well, I, 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 I'm in the lobby, so... <laughs> well, do you have two monitors? Oh, mm. no, I don't. I live in an old, old age. <sighs> yeah, I, I need to catch up to the current times, don't I? Yeah, definitely. <laughs> um, I have a very small desk, and it can only really fit one monitor. That's a bigger problem. Um, it's hanging on the wall. I could, I could, maybe. That actually sounds really good. Just hanging on the wall. You know right. what, maybe I'll do that. Maybe <laughs> for like, the next time we have a show match ready, I'll have a double monitor. <laughs> right? Yeah, there you go. <laughs> I have a third one, but I just need a cable for it. I'm trying to go big. That'd be, uh... That'd have to be a long cable, right? Like one of those ones that can connect everything? Oh, I have a 100-foot long Ethernet cable, too. A 100 feet? Yep. That's insane. You gotta stay directly connected. Oh Can't my lag, god. Ever. Where do you live that you need a hundred foot ether to get? <laughs> oh man. The game is starting, it looks like. I'm actually really quickly 
changing my bet on the um, what's that called? The st the star uh, star sense. Yes. Star sense bet. Uh, yeah, I just signed up for that one too, so I'm actually yeah. just changing my bet now. No, definitely. Match arena, SC2 replay stats. Yeah, the StarCraft 2 replay stats. Definitely a good website. I just learned about all this stuff today. But, uh, yeah. We're loading in this map on uh, Newkirk Precinct. What do you think about this map? This map is very famous for, like, proxy <laughs> all-ins. And to be completely honest, considering innovations, like the fact that the momentum is all on his side right now, I really would not be surprised to see him go for a proxy fact here or some, something, some sort of like proxy cyclone pressure. Uh, but at the same time, like because the map is so well known for that, there's a good chance that Dark could prepare himself for that as well. So the yeah. question is, the, here's the question. Are these players going to play standard or are they going to try to play unorthodox, unpredictable so that they can throw the opponent? Well, it looks like it's time to find out. Spawning in the bottom right-hand corner, we have playing as the Red Terran. Already up one game, we have Innovation. And his opponent dropping game one on Abyssal Reef, but he's nowhere near out of this out out of this yet. It is Dark. And if you notice, Novea, Dark has gone for a pull first build. He really I, likes to do this. Yes, I notice on this map particularly, yeah. he really likes to do that. Um, it counters the expo. It's a giant ramp that you have to wall off, and it's just like re it, it really counters the expo here because you're not going to be able to wall that entire thing off at this given time. Yeah, Dark really likes to do this against innovation. Terran players in general going for a pull first, running the links, and instead of running straight towards like innovation's base, he's going to run it around so watch the Reaper scout. Mm -hmm. and, and, and innovation. It, He's, he's well versed in dark style, so if he knows this, he should keep his Reaper kind of at home and patrol it around the map. Either that, or when he's going to go scout dark, don't go scouting in the like the pathway right away, but kind of go up the map a little bit. But uh, yeah, dark just... actually, he did go pull first, but he didn't actually grab any links. But okay, yeah, see, there it is, innovation with this, his Reaper scout. Yeah, he is doing exactly what you said, you know, just keeping an eye out, seeing if there are any Ling run buys, like you were saying, because he knows that this is the possibility, especially on this map. But we do have some speedlings coming out, or some drones. Actually, it doesn't really look like he's really uh, going for too much just yet. Probably right when the upgrade finishes, he'll be going in. To be able to do that, we do have the factory going down now and two Hellions, so he's going to be able to protect against the early speedlings if uh, Dark so chooses to come in. I really... I really like what Dark is doing here right now about this is really throwing innovation off. He's trying to figure out what are you doing? Like why haven't you scouted me right now? Why haven't yeah. you got any links? I don't and I, I just I he's mean Dark's looking for a third base. Yeah, exactly. Like at the three minute mark speeds up. Okay, so the Reapers we can yeah, this yeah. Reaper coming in right now, he's going to be picked off by these Lings, but he's going to see this third base go down, but actually he was a little bit distracted, so we didn't see this Ling run by that uh, Dark was trying to do, but we do already have a couple Hellions out, and these Hellions are actually are already on route to Dark's base. We do have a couple Queens for defense over here, but I mean, it looks like he's going for that same Hellion push that we saw last time. We have two more Hellions coming out, and uh, I don't know. We also have uh, the Raven. Oh man, the Raven. Were you expecting the Raven? Absolutely, I was expecting of course. the Raven. <laughs> this is innovation style, 100%. Hellions mm -hmm. for map control, Ravens for the harass, and then of course Ravens with their detection. You get to clear out creep tumors so quickly and so easily. You get to save up the 50 energy on their orbital command so that you don't need to use it for scans and you can use it for mules instead. Like the Raven is, is a beautiful transition that Terran players have been utilizing. Yeah, Ooh. it does a countless damage to the, the mineral lines here. I don't know if you caught that, but he innovation lifted a starport at Raven, which was a mistake because he normally builds a second Raven. There it is. There's ah. the second Raven. We do have Dark coming in with the Overlord, so he's going to see what innovation is doing. He does know that there is a Raven in production. He's going to know this, and he's going to be able to react accordingly. We do have the other Raven, the first Raven coming in now. We do have a Spore Caller and the Queen ready to defend this, though. All right, see, this is exactly what I was talking about, is that they, they understand each other so well. He's already got a Spore Crawler placed and a Queen ready here. And he's bringing the Lings in now. Yeah, we do have an Overlord that might go down. Is it going down? And it goes down. 
But that overlord still was worth it. Got yeah, yeah got all the information was, that he needed. That overlord dying was definitely worth it. Getting plenty of scouting information done. Understanding that innovation is going for a very standard, uh, very standard play right now with with the Raven opening transitioning into a bio with three racks. Adding the reactors on, he's getting marines now. This is classic innovation, exactly what we should be doing right now. And now that Dark knows you're not doing anything weird, you're not doing anything different, that you exactly do normally, now I know how I'm going to respond to this. Yeah, uh, what, do you think his response is going to be a mutiling bling composition? Because it seems like it might be going in that in that manner. He's already upgrading the speedlings. Uh, we don't see any tech from like a roach warren or anything like that. Well, the thing about Dark is he really likes to favor the, the Ling heavy style. He likes to ha make a bunch of Lings at, before he ever even drops down that Spire. He wants a lot of Lings for speed, a lot of Lings for map control, and then later on morph them into Banelings. He could stay on Ling Baneling for a very long time. He might not even see Mutas until like the 10 minute mark. And of course, since it's That's Dark... That's really good to confuse your opponent though, but I mean, Innovation knows him so well. And since it's Dark, we're probably going to see Corruptors. He's very well known for using Corruptors and not mm -hmm. Mutas. Okay, the Raven's coming these in now. Ravens coming in again. Into the main. Oh, uh, yeah. But we have an army of queens just ready to defend this. Like, and an army of overlords just to get vision of anything taking place. So, Dark is totally prepared for that. Those Ravens aren't really going to be getting into there. The mineral line. Coming in with a good creep cleanup, actually. Going to be probably cleaning all of this creep up in the area, which is... Uh, he did a great creep spread, but... Okay, now he's going to scan ahead and see the positioning of Dark's Baneling speed has finished, so he needs to get off, or he's going to get himself surrounded. Yeah, this is <laughs> this is just going to be a little bit... Oh man, the Baneling's coming in, making good connections, but they weren't able to go off on the Marines, but they were able to take off some of those auto turrets. We still have those Hellions, though, able to barbecue those links, and he's just going to have to keep morphing Banelings to keep cleaning this up. I think Innovation is definitely going to have to retreat right now. And he's lost him a lot. Yeah, but meanwhile, while this was going on, we actually had a Ling run by as well at the third base of Innovation. So we kind of missed that. He was I'm not sure how many uh, workers he got off, but I did see him come in and do a counterattack during that. So we did see uh, Dark doing a little bit of harassment of his own, but we still see the Marine Trail coming in. We have the Widow Mines out now. He's trying to get all this creep cleaned up, and he's just... He's just going to start being the relentless innovation that we know. Yeah, I actually did catch the link run by. Innovation caught on very quickly and retreated his SCVs. Didn't lose too much there. Okay. But as you can see, Dark's going for another one here. And that's exactly the thing about New Kirk. It's such a huge map with so many different paths you can take. Mm -hmm. So Dark is, Dark is playing this very well right now. He's definitely... He, he, well, he, so he hasn't lost 12 drones. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. He hasn't lost 12 drones. And as you can see, he's making up a lot of money. And so those are definitely going to go into Mutas. Yep, so. I figured it was probably going to be the Spire going down. It seems like that's Dark's style, you know, when you just see mostly Speedlings for the quite some time. It seems like he always goes into his Spire after that. Usually if he's going with the Roaches or Precautionary Roaches, I'll have the Precautionary Roach den down prior to this. Alright, so now the question here is, can Dark prevent his oh. spread? The beautiful, beautiful pickup, though. Innovation is always really great with these timings of these pickups, picking up his units right in the nick of time, not getting them any medibacks taken out. And we do have an army of mutas actually looking like they're going towards the uh, main base of Innovation. And now I'm not sure. Let's take a look and see if he has any. He does have one missile turret. So there really is not too many mutas i he's going to be able to get into a position though where he's going to be able to take out some tech structures and that's exactly what he's doing the marines are coming back in home to try to defend against this he wasn't really able to pick off too much oh and here comes innovation building more missile tanks now so he realizes that the mutas are going to be a giant problem so he's going to want to stay defensively now and try to make sure his base doesn't die immediately when he tries to move out so i like what innovation is doing here but dark is doing a great job of keeping innovation in his home so that he can go into that four base Zerg macro that we all know Dark is so good at. Yeah, I do like Innovation's placement that he's starting to begin doing with the Widow Mines. He's starting to throw them out on different places of the map to be able to stop any territory that areas that, you know, Ling run bys could take place. 
you know, we just, we do see the overseer though, which is great because you know when I started saying that there was no overseer with the mutas, but he's going to be able to scout out all of these uh, widow mines here too. It's it's kind of even right now for both players. It's really hard yeah. to say who's winning right now. Although I just saw three three coming here for Innovation. It's a bit of a time crunch. Very soon, Innovation's army is going to be really scary, and Dark's going to be on two two versus three three. So with Innovation starting three three now, Dark, oh wait, Muta's in the base. Oh holy crap, look at that. Muta's here in the main base. Things here. In oh the wow, yeah, just... the Muta's in the main base. You're right. We do oh. have mutas. Oh wow, they're going to be oh, able to taking out the engineering base. The three three is not going to come from innovation. That is beautiful. Is he going to get the second one? And he is. Oh, that was an excellent play by Dark. And it looks like innovation knows that this is happening, and he's going to go in and he's going to try to do some kind of damage, cleaning up creep. These links are getting a really great surround. The Widow Mines go off, but the Bane links still remain. The pickup happens, and he's getting out. The mutas are still at the. Uh, it's natural doing a ton of damage. But how many drones are we, or SCVs are we losing? This is his revenge of the worker game. <laughs> 32 <laughs> workers have been killed here in this game so far for oh. innovation. So he wow. is just. Oh, oh nice little We don't mind making a good hit. Yeah. That was extremely worth it, though. Yeah, an important thing to note here is while all this was going treat and then successfully grabs, uh, established a fifth hatchery down. So Dark is, is in a great position, and he sniped the 3-3. Three, three. That is huge. Oh, that wow. I love burrowed banelings. Do you see that? There's three banelings burrowed right outside of the base. So if these Marines walk on top of it, oh, it's just going to be beautiful. He did see them, oh, though. Yeah. yeah, that was great from Innovation, being able to get rid of those before they did it. Oh, another Widow Mine making a connection on these Mutas, and they are going down in health. This is actually, this is a great move here from it. Spreading out these Widow Mines and putting them... And that way it's harder for Dark to predict where the Widow Mines will be. And so he's being a big hit. We may have a big battle coming up here soon again. Yeah, it looks like they're just kind of doing a back and forth on the edge of the creep, trying to get rid of it. These Banelings are morphed, but... Oh, man, I... They're both maxed in, in supply. They are both back to supply the light. Another Muta run by actually happening in the natural. More SCVs going out. Oh man, Innovation is just losing so many SCVs here. The Zerg Swarm is just completely real now. Oh my god, is he gonna get the 3 3 again? Oh god. Oh my gosh, yes. It. He's going for the 3 3 again, guys. These Mutas, the mobility, Dark is just completely abusing this mobility factor and he's not letting Innovation get his tech up. This this hurts innovation so much. You can see yeah. it's already starting up. You don't need to. You're gonna have three engineering base. Cancel one. <laughs> uh, Nova, I don't know what innovation's gonna do with three engine. I don't know. It's, he just uh, knows they keep taking out, getting taken out. He's like, I'm just gonna build a bunch. Okay, oh man, those banelings making a really good good hit. Oh, that's just an overwhelming amount of banelings. I don't really think there's anything that innovation can do here. Dark takes the win, evening up the score, 1-1. That was absolutely a magnificent game played by Dark. Yeah, so many great things happened for Dark that game. First mm -hmm. off, he didn't sustain early didn't sustain early game damage mm -hmm. by losing drones. And he prevented innovation from dealing any damage with the army that he moved out. Innovation moved out with army three times that game. But he never pushed into dark space. It was always outside, and he was always fighting on creep. Yeah, so he definitely dark... held the map control there. You know, he was able to, you know, replenish his creep immediately. That was just, uh oh. Taking yeah, out and... those engineering base, I think, was just, you know, the game changer. I think there definitely needed to be way more anti-air at the base, more Widow Mine action. I just don't think he had the defense to really, you know, counter the mobility of these mutas. Yeah, I was just about to comment on the engineering base guy <laughs> because, I mean, Novea, you know, as a Zerg player and I know as a Terran player, how crucial that 3-3 timing is. Oh, yeah. Because the 3-3 is what makes the difference in those battles. Those battles that Innovation had... If he had 3 3, they would have gone so differently. Yeah, that was a great game. All right, but on another note, guys, we have hit our $175 goal there on Match Arena. Thank you to those of you guys that have 
donated your money and help crowdfund this tournament so we can do if we're doing the interview is that is that what that means seeker i think 200 is the interview is 200 the interview i think 200 is the interview. ah 200 guys so we need 25 more dollars for an interview yes <sighs> Uh, I just want to take this moment to apologize in advance for the audio. I don't know what's happening. Like, it keeps happening every time we go live with Polygon Invitational. Never happens during practice. I don't know why. I really don't know how, how to explain this. What? <laughs> okay, so now you're cutting out, Marsh. <laughs> Uh, I could give that a shot. Yeah, do okay. you? Whew. Guys, you can buy tickets on Matcherino. Don't forget about that. Don't forget about our raffle that's going on. Oh, yes. Yes. Six whole months of it? I thought it was just a, a month. So the StarCraft replay stats, that when you go onto this website, if you guys actually check it out, sign up for it. Uh, we're giving away a raffle tonight. All you have to do is purchase a point or purchase a ticket. It's two points. Pretty easy. It's on the Match Arena website. Um, if you guys know about StarCraft you replay stats, they, it will give you uh, advice. You can upload your replays on there. You can check tons of statistics that the game system does not quite have. So six whole months, all you have to do, two points. I don't know about you, Novel, but the fact that the score is tied 1-1 makes me very happy because yeah. that means now going into game number three, both players are feeling the same amount of pressure now. Yeah, no it definitely evened it all out. <laughs> yeah, it's not like, because like, you know, going into a game, you feel the pressure of being down 1-0 in this best of seven. You know, Dark was probably feeling it, but he kept his composure. And really yeah. executed a beautiful, uh, just a, a great build, great decision making in that New Kirk precinct, precinct game. He just, the Muta sniping down the eBay just hurt innovation so much. There yeah, was I think that was a really good about. choice to go the Mutas on that route. Definitely. Uh, that, that map, you know, abusing the mobility, but the map that we're spawning in now. Um, are we, all right, so spawning in the upper right-hand corner of the map, we have playing as the purple Zerg. We have Dark. And his opponent, the machine himself. Can he bring it back to, in his favor in this game? Three, it is going to be innovation. Yeah, right now I've actually... Uh... I did sign up for the Star Sense. This is pretty cool. Um, I would, I don't, I might want to have to change it again. Uh, it's actually <laughs> an Android app. <laughs> it's an Android app. All you have to do is uh, look up Star Sense StarCraft Two on your phone and the Google Play Store, and you can actually vote and you can get, earn points throughout time. And uh, you just vote on your favorite players, and you don't have to put money into it. So it's really cool to do. And then sometimes they give away things at the end. So. I don't know who's going to win on this one, but I think I need to keep going back and forth. Well, it's perfectly fine for you to go back and forth. That's how good these players are. Nobody, I didn't if know. You, if you see it right now, Innovation's opening up the Rex Reaper. And oh, wow. If you're, if you are you know, you remember about the patch, right? The KD8 charge is now 14 second cooldown, not 7 seconds. Oh, so my goodness. It's time to see how well can Innovation execute this 3 Rex build order considering the changes that have gone through. Can he, yeah, I can mean, it's like it the patch just came out today, too. Can No, no, no. The patch came out before today. But so, here we go. Yeah. 
All right, so we do have the Reaper coming in, the normal kind of standard opening from Terran, other than what you had pointed up before, but he is coming in. He is going to see. He doesn't know, though, if this is his third base or if it is second, or if it's the second, but, you know, most players like to do this with the natural on this kind of map, so you never know when your opponent really gets the third base. So I'm sure that he pretty much knows this, but, oh, my gosh, we have the second Reaper already coming in. Oh, and the Reapers are just trailing behind. He's really wants to get even on Dark for the last game. He wants to get the win here. We do have a couple Queens in production on the way. The Speedlings are not done yet, but now they just finished right in the nick of time. Will he be able to get good surround on these Speedlings or not? <coughs> oh, man. Just two Reapers remain. That was really great defense. Really good scouting that out. Really good plays by uh, Dark. Maybe he knew on this map that this was a possibility. Or he yeah. saw it with his Overlord. But that was really great from Dark to have that Speedlings first and foremost. So he was able to defend against that. I think this is precisely why Dark loves getting Speedlings so quickly. Is that he knows that's what you need to do in order to properly defend against a 3 Rax Reaper pressure. So I think Dark just read his opponent very well. Understood exactly what he needed to do. But the Reapers are still piling up. He's not giving up on what he's doing. This is so many Reapers right now. Guys. It's three racks Reaper, and he's just not stopping production, and he's going for a third command center behind this, so he's definitely <laughs> going for the economic build order. The three racks Reaper is not an all-in. He just No, wants to some people through. like to play it that way, but no, Innovation's definitely not playing it that way. <laughs> well, for first off, he didn't even proxy the barracks, you know? No, of course not. It wasn't... Com it was not cheese. This is... This is just instead of his Hellions, he's coming in with Reapers this time. He's just always so aggressive as a Terran player. And here we go. The Reapers are gonna come in. Let's see how much more damage can you can get done this time. Oh, man. I don't think that there's too many Queens to defend this. There's only three Queens here. We have a lot of Speedlings in production, though, to try to counter this. He looks like uh, Innovation might be trying to go in from different angles, jump up on different cliff sides, trying to just get in here. We do have Dark going for the Ling upgrades as fast as he can to try to be able to counter against this. He sees it. He knows it's here. The Overlord is getting shot right now. He did come in, and he did see that this is exactly what's going on. Like, it's still going on. Well, Dark saw the add-ons on the barracks, so now he knows Innovation is preparing for a bio transition. And knowing that, Dark realizes that he doesn't need to build Queens or Links anymore for defensive purposes. He can now comfortably transition into a macro game, uh, get those high number of drones that he loves to get, and try to go for that Ling Baneling style that we know Dark loves. And try, yeah. to, try to try to get a repeat of the new Kirk Precinct situation going on where he can overrun Dark, or I'm sorry, not Dark. Yeah, overrun. more dark and over an innovation. We exactly. do see them taking out some of the rocks over there, like you saw before. It looks like, you know, he's going to be playing very, very macro. He's going to get that gold base that's really smart of dark to do. Or he's just taking down the rocks to have the mobility and to be able to spread his creep through there. I'm not sure if he's going to go for that gold, but I hope that he does. He, he, most like, he most definitely will go for the gold. Whether he gets it now or later, though, is totally up to dark. But bringing down those rocks is a very good choice here. He doesn't want to allow Innovation to get a positional advantage by sieging up in that position. So bring down mm -hmm. those rocks, open up the path so that you can grab a fourth. Great move here by Dark. And now we see a macro hatchery coming down here in Dark's main base. So he is definitely getting ready to build up a sick, sick army so that he can take on Innovation when he decides to first move out. Because the first set of medevacs is going to come out. And once those medevacs are out, Innovation is going to put his units in those medevacs and go for drop. And drop left and right, and try to try to try to distract Dark from being able to comfortably macro up. Yeah, for sure. I, I do want to point out it's an amazing creep spread in this game by Dark. He's gonna have a lot a lot of vision on this map, but we do see a giant the giant army of Hellions still coming in trying to figure something out, trying to do some damage here. And it looks like we are gonna see an attack from Innovation gearing up right now, at least trying to clean off this creep. I like what Innovation's doing right now by bringing the Reapers from the top and the Marines from the bottom. This is forcing Dark to move back and forth, doesn't know what to do exactly. Yeah. And this is before Baneling Speed, so Innovation has a very good timing. Yeah, right this now. is a, it's a, that's a very good point. Okay, but he's got to like pick it. up a flyaway. Yeah, he always is doing amazing pickups here. Oh wow, those, those Reapers doing it. 
quite a bit of damage there, but that was a pretty funny ball of uh, explosions there with so many reapers. <laughs> well, he definitely he definitely made those reapers worth their money, you know. Yeah. Got the got he even got some more KDA charges off before they died. And those reapers did their job. Yeah, we do have a drop coming in from Innovation while he's coming in from the other side, trying to distract these links and get them to be pulled off into a different location so he can safely come in with this drop. It is going to be spotted out on the creep, though, because just this amazing creep spread, but he's doing a multi-pronged attack now. We have the main base and this, uh, his fourth base actually getting pressurized. Dark, though, doing a great job splitting up his army. He has links on both of them. He knows exactly where these medevacs are, and he is just completely prepared for this kind of attack. One thing I'm going to point out here is that while Innovation does have a group of Marines out on the map right now. He's got one group at the top, one group at the bottom. He has a follow-up preparing back at home. That's exactly what Innovation does. He harasses with two groups of separate medevacs and then follows up with another group of medevacs and then hits from the middle. Yeah, I mean, I've seen I've seen Innovation hit all the bases at this at once. Like, if we see that many uh, that many drops, that's just going to be beautiful, and that's probably what he needs to do before these mutas, you know, get too intense. No, oh, yeah, that one medevac has 15 health, but he Oh my god, get... two medevacs going down. Oh, this, these, these mutas, he's going to do exactly what we saw last game. He's going to abuse this mobility. He knows that his opponent is trying to go for that drop pressure constantly. So getting the vision, taking out these medevacs, just chasing them down one by one over and over again. He's definitely taking the advantage here against these drops. The creep spread here for Dark is just going very well for him. He understands exactly what innovation is doing at all times, knows when the medevacs are flying in before they can even reach their destination. So this is going very well for Dark right now. Innovation having a lot of trouble trying to bring down Dark. Dark hasn't really lost any drones this game. He's at 79 workers. Oh, wow. He really just hasn't taken any eco economic damage. So now innovation... No, he's I definitely slowly starting to climb in the supply lead, but innovation is right on his tail, constantly keeping up his supply as well. We do see a drop going in. Actually, Widow Mines, but he, they were spotted, and we do have an Overseer that's going to be able to clean that up as well as the other drop that was ha taking place. Now, innovation also moving out on the map with another army, trying to just do as much damage as it can simultaneously. Widow Mine's actually getting barreled a little bit too late, but they're still able to go off and take out a couple units, but it's... Oh, innovation is just going to start pushing in really hard over and over again. That's what he likes to do, just keep the pressure up. Oh, man, these Banelings are making really great hits, though, and he is pushing Dark back. There's just Loving. so much happening in this game. We do yep. still have another drop that just took place in the main base of Dark. Was able to get cleaned up again. Dark is just doing a great job defending. Yeah, I was going to comment on just how amazing the multiple aggression is. But Novea, you beat me to the punch. That just, <laughs> no, that just shows how on top of this game you are. Oh, really thank you. you. <laughs> <laughs> but here we go, Innovation going for another attack. He really needs to trade better here. A dark keeps taking the supply lead, and soon Innovation is just going to... He's going to fall too behind to be able to trade efficiently anymore if, he, if this keeps going on. Yeah, I agree. I have seen games very similar to this one when I thought Dark was going to win, but then Innovation still was able to pull through and still take wins, so I still don't know which, still don't know who's in the lead here. I feel like they're both so good that they could go any way. This is a good move from... Yeah, taking out the rocks here. I think that uh, Zerg is either an unaware or doesn't care, and he's trying to pull off his opponent, possibly take out this expansion here. He's actually capturing a whole bunch of units off guard before they were able to barrel Widow Mines. Taking out this gold base is going to be a really great thing for Dark, but meanwhile, while this is going on, his other base is actually getting taken out, and he's able, he is able to defend against this on his other base, but he will lose that base there. Uh, he's probably going to, he did opt in to take the, the gold base, so he's going to have enough drones to just saturate that immediately because he was able to pull a bunch of workers and Dark really doing a complete number on innovation here. He is in the main, he's in the natural, he's taking out everything. So many SCVs are dying right now. There is just so, too much. And Dark takes the second win today. GG! Wow. This entire, this entire game was just like set up for Dark's success because innovation opening up three backs, but Dark going for that quick speed 
Like he almost he took almost no economic damage whatsoever. Yeah, like that, he really didn't like Innovation was trying. He kept trying, but he just kept getting denied over and over and over. Whew. I think Dark did a really great job, you know, just scouting out his opponent, just knowing his play style, knowing what he was going to do, knowing how to react accordingly to that draw pressure. Yes. Um, yes I do think we are right. going into a quick commercial, though, shortly. Yep. Yes, we will. The score is currently 2-1, guys, in Dark's favor, but don't go anywhere. We'll be right back with more StarCraft action. I'm Shaf, the owner of Polygon Gaming, and I believe in a tip-based economy, where the hardest working people get rewarded for their effort. I've held a number of jobs, and while there's nothing quite like that adrenaline rush of being a line cook, working the trenches as a waiter or delivery driver is where you really get rewards for customer interaction. And as long as everybody works hard, there's enough to go around for everyone. This applies to StarCraft as well as kitchens. And that's why Macharino is the future of esports. Macharino allows organizers to crowdsource their events events, luring players with the temptation of luscious prize pools guaranteed by the most dedicated viewers. Do you think one organization does a really good job, or is your favorite player squaring off in the match of the century? It doesn't matter. Now you can support it either way. Match Arena makes it easy to distribute prize pools after an event is over, with a flexible donation system that opens many doors for creative organizers. With a flexible system unrivaled by competitors, Match Arena is just what this scene needed. Some say StarCraft 2 is a dead game, but many others, just like you, every day are putting their money where their mouth is, and Match Arena is the platform they're using to do it. Match Arena is single-handedly breathing life back into this game. Help esports grow because StarCraft lives. Are we back? Huh? You cut out. Really? So maybe this... Dude, we need a... I think on my the last game I had the mic a little too close to my mouth. I try to keep okay. it the same distance for sound. I like I can't I I I'm have, I'm having to restrain myself so much because I'm scared that I'm gonna cut out if I like move or get too excited. So like, are you using that? Like All right, right guys. <laughs> okay. All right. Whatever. That was a wonderful commercial, though. Sorry that for talking was. over it. It wasn't it? Yeah. Yeah. I'm going to go. I need to. Man, I'm like hot. I'm like sweating. Let me go check my AC. Uh, is it even on? It's so hot in my room. I feel the same. Oh. Well, guys, this is really, really exciting. Uh, right now, currently, for those of you guys just joining us, we actually have dark up two games to one on innovation uh these have been some really really great games that we've seen tonight and uh, i don't know what it's gonna what is gonna happen i don't know who is gonna win this at all but again um like i was saying before there's this uh app that it's actually starcraft as you can see you can make votes and you get points and it's really awesome i just changed mine Shh can't see. I'm not telling right. you. So my I'm going AC, back and forth on this one. My AC is on. It's hot as crap, but you know what? I'm just going to go. I'm just going to, you know, power through it cuz I'm not missing any more dark innovation action for uh -uh. for just, you know, for just being sweaty and hot, you know. No, I have my whole window open like the whole neighbor could he can hear me casting. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, 
we got to get your whole neighborhood into StarCraft 2, right? And then I have to do the same thing for my neighborhood. They're all, like, retro gamers. I'm like, what are you doing? <laughs> so like, get an emulator. Let's play Super Nintendo. And I'm like, yeah, I got one, but I, I like StarCraft. <laughs> oh, Super, Super Nintendo, yeah. We need to, um, if you're a caster, what you got to do is you got to just open your window, open your doors, and cast out so loud that people hear you. Come come by, see what's going right. on. Right. Right. <laughs> Just Even put a giant sign them. on the door. <laughs> yeah. Even when the uh, even when the uh, well, even when the cops come, you you invite the cops to listen to the StarCraft two cast, and then the cops quit so that they can become StarCraft two Sorry. Casters. Yeah. So. I, I don't. I don't know about you, but we got to do whatever we can to get this scene growing and growing and growing. So if that's what it takes, then Novaya. Tell your friends. Tell your neighbors. Tell your mother. <laughs> tell your father. <laughs> exactly right. Tell your opa. Tell your kids. <laughs> tell your wife. <laughs> Ooh, I've just just been informed that our raffle is temporarily put on hold because it has gone down on us. Uh, oh. the, the bot in charge of the raffle has gone down on us. So sorry about that little inconvenience there. But don't worry. That doesn't affect Dark versus Innovation at all. No. So if you want to know if you want to know if you won the raffle or not, you just need to follow us on Twitter because we are going to post up on our Twitter, uh, twitter.com slash polygonic2. We're going to put us, post it up there who the winner of the raffle is. So don't worry about that. Also, I've been informed that I'm not having any more mic uh, cutout issues, so I'm really happy about that. Let's hope it Yay. stays. Let's I know. Let's really <laughs> hope it stays, okay? Because I've I've been burned more than once in casting these Polygon Invitationals because of this stupid audio issue. I, I I don't know. Have you had to, have you had to deal with technical issues before? Oh, so many times. So it many becomes times frustrating. Right? I mean, computer. <laughs> They do dumb things. <laughs> yeah, it like it like it makes you so angry that you just don't want to do it anymore. You know? Does it make you so mad you rage? Does it make me so mad that I rage? Well, I rage on the inside. Okay, that. that's good. Yeah, I don't want to. <laughs> I don't want to make it obvious to the crowd that I'm just like, <laughs> just like this whiny crybaby who's angry. Right, my mic won't work. My mic won't work. What's going on? <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. It's working now. That's what matters. Definitely. It looks like we're playing on Belshire Vestige. I think I said that right, but uh, I have trouble print uh, Belshire. I can never pronounce map names very well. <laughs> uh, it's just Belshire. Yeah, Belshire. Yeah, if it was Shire, there'd be an E at the end. You're correct. <laughs> you are correct. That makes sense. And I'm the one yeah. that's supposed to speak English as my, you know, first language. Oh, whoa, whoa! Hey, now let's. Hey now, hey now! I'm not, I'm dissing myself. I'm dissing oh, okay. myself here. Well, English is my first language, too, I'm just saying. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> thought maybe because you lived in Korea that it wasn't, but this I map, I do really like this map, though, because, uh, like, there's there's different routes that you can go on uh, just to be able to, you know, get get by. There's two different sides of it. Like, it's a huge map for a one-player map. But uh, on, moving on with introductions, we have spawning in the upper left-hand corner playing as the Red Terran. We have Innovation. And his opponent... Down zero one, but now is in favor. Two one score. It is dark. Nova, yeah, did you get a chance to watch uh, pro league games when both these players won SK Telecom T one? Uh, I'm not sure if I watched that specific one, but I do keep up on it. I did watch a bunch of games of them playing uh, actually this past week just to see how their styles were, just to make sure I understood them. Oh, you didn't watch pro league, the the, the greatest team league ever. I, I've kind of been out of the scene for the past year, like I said. <laughs> okay, well, I mean, Pro League's been around since, like, forever, though. Oh. Uh, but yeah, the, 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 reason why, the reason why I bring it up is just because uh, when these players were on SK Telecom T1, uh, Dark was called the ace of SKT. He was, he was called, like, the best player, like, the ace of SKT, and people were like, wait, how is that possible? Like, it, it should be, like, Innovation or Sue or Classic, right? <laughs> so this Dark. goes way back. Yeah, this was Dark was like kind of not well known, and so people are like, "What? Dark can't be the ace of SKT. He's not good enough." And then Dark just like kills everyone in Pro League, and then he's like, "What up? What up, guys? Yo, what this up? is me? Yo, what up? <laughs> this is me, right?" And yeah, that's the thing about Dark is that he has that's those funny. Kind of so situations. It's, he's coming back, and oh, man, 
Look at so now on, on this map, you know, it looks like Dark did open with the pool, the early pool to get that or early speedlings again. He did go for the fast expansion as well. Yeah, the and... thing is, Dark Dark knows it works. He understands that the fast speedlings is what allows him to shut down the Reaper Scout quickly and allows him to shut down any sort of three racks Reaper pressure, as we saw in the previous game on Proxima Station. So, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. Yeah, exactly. Right. The first game that we saw, I'm pretty, I'm pretty sure that he got the speedlings a little bit later on the very first game that he had lost. Um, the, he, you know, the Hellions came in. He wasn't able to get, you know, too many connections with those links because they, they he didn't have speedlings for quite some time. Okay, so what we're seeing right now from innovation with an armory here, and then met reactor uh, Hellions coming out. So he's going for a Marine Hellbat pressure, and this build is very very strong if you're if you're if your opponent is just not expecting it like here we go the innovation is coming in now he's turning on the hell back now dark mode. but dark yeah is he it's ready like, for it no he's not i don't think he's ready for it we do not have the baneling nest even down oh, and he's really going to need things. yeah oh he only has links there is absolutely no baneling nest now and he's actually going <laughs> to these queens are going to go down. Are they going to be able to transfuse? I don't think they have enough energy to be able to do so. We have them coming in right after they kill these queens. They're going to be able to kill so many drones. Oh, the drones were all spread together, clumped up for that one. Do have a couple speedlings out. He might be able to clean this up, but the loss of mining time again and just the drones that he lost. This is going already in Innovation's favor, and he is coming back with more units. So innovation is continuing to apply pressure right now. He, we do have a, we do have a good situation here for Dark where he did force innovation to retreat. So this is really good. Now he yeah. has a, some breathing room, but he needs to realize that innovation is doing a raven follow up, and he does see it now. The auditor are down catching the scouting overlord, but now Dark is like, well, now I have to. Not only do I have to keep my lings around to keep track of where his hellions are, but now I have to make sure. My drones don't die to auto turret. So now Dark is in a yeah. very sticky situation. Oh wow, yeah. innovation over here actually finding these things already kind of knows the opponent likes to go. You know, with the Ling run by is coming oh. around the side, he's actually going to be able to, you know, get all of these Lings down here. Oh. And I mean, he really needs those. There's still a lot of Hellions on here. We do have four Queens though in the front, four defense. So it looks like, you know, Dark probably will be able to defend against this push here. Yeah, I don't know about you, Novaya, but those were some dead links. Yeah, they just, were destroyed. Oh, uh, they just, no chance to live. Yeah, they got surrounded and everything. Okay, this hurts Dark a lot. He's supply blocked. He's supply blocked, and Innovation is preparing for a second attack now. So he is in, he's in some situation. Yeah, a lot of queens, though. Uh, these queens, I don't know how much, don't think they're going to have enough energy to do too many transfuses because they are pretty new, but they are going to be able to, you know, defend against this for now, but does he have any Banelings yet? We do not have any Banelings yet from uh, Dark. I really think that he needs these Banelings in this attack because, you know, if he loses these Queens again and these Hellbats are able to go in and do more damage, that is not going to be good. But, the, thing yeah. about, the thing about Dark and Banelings that Innovation knows, Dark likes to go for a heavy Zergling style and the late Baneling mesh. So this build is to expose that and abuse that fact. The Ravens, the Hellbats are so good at taking down Queens and so good at taking down Lings. So Innovation is playing this very well, understanding exactly how his opponent likes to play, reacting to his style, adapting to how the game is supposed to be going around. And now he's comfortably going up to three bases, and, and Dark's in a bit of a situation right now. He's, he's not droning up as heavily as he'd like to. We, we, we mentioned before, Dark is a greedy player and likes to grab a lot of drones. He hasn't yeah, so that also to... definitely abuses that factor too, like you were saying. Oh, but <laughs> there's a bailing nest, Novea. It, it's there is now, now, finally. Yes. Is it finally here? Yay, it's we have there. the bailing nest. And the, the layer's about to finish, so we're going to see bailing speed. So we're mm -hmm. going to go into that standard TBZ macro game soon. But the Yeah, I think that he's, you know, he might be throwing down a spire eventually too. I mean, he's, yeah, it's, he seems like, you know, his his... Uh, Muta build that he likes to do versus Innovation. Here's the question, Novea. Did Innovation do enough damage to force Dark to play catch-up? Or is Dark still in a good position that he can still retain map control and keep Innovation on his toes? You know, I'm going to say that I think that he still is in the position to be able to do the second one. To be able to do that. Uh, he didn't really lose too many 
workers there. He did lose a couple, but, you know, he's been able to clean out everything that he's gotten thrown at him. You know, he did take, you know, some damage. We still have another attack going on right now, but the Banelings are out, so that is going to be really good. Will he be able to get some Hellbat action on these drones? Oh man, all the drones are over there, all clumped up. Are they going to be able to get in? It looks like this actually he might be able to take out this entire... This, oh my goodness! Yeah, I was just about I to did say, this, not. Oh. this is the attack that's going to kill Dark, because so, Innovation, did you see how, like, he didn't even scan for the creep? He knew he had a timing window. He didn't wait for the creep to die out. He just ran straight in, spread his army. Dark had Banelings, but then wasted it on the Hellbats, and the Marines stayed completely alive during that entire battle. Yeah. And there was just no way for Dark to fight off once his Banelings had died. There was nothing he had that could that could win against that army. Yeah, that was an amazing game. If it wasn't for that push there, like you were saying, that window of opportunity, taking out that expansion, you know, Dark knew that, you know, after all the pressure that he had been given, losing that was just detrimental. Like, he could not lose that expansion, and he left the game before it even completely went down. He just knew. I'm so happy that the score is 2-2, because if there's one thing that makes a series boring is when one person is just one-sidedly stomping the other one. Right. <laughs> I don't know if you were here for our previous Polygon Invitationals, but uh, Sue versus Innovation. Innovation stomped him 4-1. Oh, and really? Then, wow. And then before that, Sue versus Bunny, Dust Bunny. Sue, mm -hmm. Sue stomped Bunny 4-1, so it was just like... Oh! Yeah. That <laughs> time, stomps. That time, Felipe and I were the casters, and we were just like, oh my god, like, Sue's so good at ZBT. And then Innovation comes on, we're like, holy crap! <laughs> <laughs> Innovation's so good at TVZ. <laughs> right, he really yeah. is. But I love it. I think these two players are very evenly matched up. Mm -hmm. And at least, at least Dark isn't losing 2-0 this time. You know? No, no. That I I'd still think, you know, now it's, it's so even now. It's... <laughs> I don't know how many games we're going to get into. We might get all the way up to the 7th today. I, I hope we do get up to a game 7. And like I said before, Dark lost 2-0 to Innovation and SSL, so he wants revenge. He really mm -hmm. wants to be able to reestablish himself as the most dominant Zerg in the world. In order to do that, you need to take down a player like Innovation. Mm -hmm. Do you want to remind you guys that we do have... Uh, we do have uh, an interview that we possibly could do if we reach the goal of $200 for this tournament. So we're at 176 now. You go to matcherino.com if you guys want to help us out to get the players in here, whatever winner there is, you know, for an interview. That would be really awesome to have. Yeah, and I'm going to be translating that interview. So if you want to hear more of me talking, then you're going to want to I want to hear you talk in Korean. <laughs> <laughs> um... I don't know. Sometimes, sometimes I like slur my words and I sound like an idiot. <laughs> but if you want to hear you. that, you better go, you better uh, donate. Yeah. Are you, uh, are you are you are you in the lobby? Yeah. No. Um. But I will be. be. All right. Cool. There you are. All right. Because uh, I don't know about you, Novea, but I can't cast the game if you're not in here. No, it's it's really important to have me in there. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we're getting ready to go into game number five here, aren't we? Score yeah. is 2-2. Two, two. I hope you guys in the audience are hyped about this. Do you guys have any predictions on who you guys might think will win this game? I would definitely like to hear some feedback from everybody here watching. I think in terms of just like how this series has played out tonight, I am hoping that... Well, first off, I hope Dark and Innovation don't get tired, but I hope you and I don't get tired either, Novea. Uh, yeah, like, you know how like my like, mouth is dry, but it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> so you know how like you know how like you can kind of tell when the casters are becoming delusional and they're really tired. Like when you're listening <laughs> to like a like an IEM or a BlizzCon and like the casters start talking about the most random crap in the world. Right. People are just like, people are just like are go these guys home, high? <laughs> yeah. Like, what, what, what are they doing? And it's like yes, they they are kind of high because they're just possible the losers right now. <laughs> <laughs> And, uh, it takes a lot out of you to be able to talk 
yeah. as much as casting involves. So, so Novea, let's let's make a deal. If we start, if we realize we're going insane, we better point it out quickly so we can get some coffee in our system or something. Oh, I have it prepared right here. It's cold, but okay, I'm ready for that. Oh, cold coffee? No one wants. Yeah. Cold coffee. Uh, I oh, know. unless it's iced coffee. Unless it's iced coffee. Well, I can't get up and go heat it up, can I? I need a microwave here. Well, you can do it during <laughs> commercial break, okay? Can't do it <laughs> no. now. Can't do it now. Imagine yourself tied down to this chair. I am. I am. I am on right. lock. I am glad it's pretty comfy, <laughs> though. <laughs> uh, okay, it looks like the next map we're going to be playing on is Cactus Valley, which is a very huge map. Uh, it's a very spirally weird map, but it looks like the way that this is positioned, we are going to see dark with getting a good scout out and being able to find his opponent quickly. So we're going to go ahead and get here on introductions. We do have spawning in the upper right-hand corner of the map. We're playing as the Orange Terran. We have Innovation. And his opponent is going to be none other than Eskitalcom T1's ace, question mark? Don't. <laughs> <laughs> I think the question mark was a little savage. And, uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. It's it's hard because these guys are all so good. That you just really can't say like one person is like the ace for the whole team. Well, actually, no, you can't because like, you know, um, so like if you think of some teams where they had like one player who was always the ace, like KT always had Flash, uh, Prime always had Marine King, things like that. But SKT yeah. was so like diverse. It was really hard to say like one person was just like the ace player of that team. Yeah. Yeah, definitely agreed. We do see both players opening up pretty much the same openings that we've seen in the last games. We do have the uh, drones already on the gas, so we probably will be seeing you know that early speedling action again. And uh, Dark just came in with the scout, so you know he's going to know where his opponent is, and so does Innovation because of this Overlord coming in from where it came in. So they both know where each other is at now. So this Reaper is going to be able to just go right in and do whatever he'd like. Yeah, this is actually pretty good for Innovation, considering the fact that they're so close. Innovation really loves when he is he when the, when they are close by air like this, instead of having to go all the way across the map diagonally to attack his opponent. When they're yeah. this close, Innovation likes to go for Hellions and then go for Raven follow up, like like he always does. But it, it works so well when you're so close because he can go for a drop follow up and deal a lot of damage. This is how he shut down Bjol in the GSL finals uh, last year. He did the exact same thing. Well, he didn't do the Raven thing because auto turrets weren't that good. Back then. <laughs> but but innovation knows how to play on this map. Like this is innovation's map. So considering mm -hmm. considering that Dark knows this, knows that innovation does really well on this map. Dark needs to respond properly to the situation. And and you know as a Zerg player, Novea, what do you do when you go into a map knowing that you've definitely lost against your opponent many times on this map? Ah. <sighs> Try to switch it up and do something they completely wouldn't even expect. I like that. I, I would I would love to see maybe like a maybe like an eight lane drop. Like he has Yeah, that would be good. Like it's actually the perfect map for that too. Uh maybe if he did some drops in the, the main base over there, there's a shadowy portion that he might not you know, innovation might not have been vin uh, vision of. He might be able to elevator those lanes right in there. I would like to see that. That would be very awesome to see. An eight link drop would be beautiful because he has. Oh, actually, six links coming in here towards the natural now. Yeah, he's going to be able to stop the mining here, and the speed links just now finishing up. Time that very well, but of the hellions here that are going to be able to. Oh, they did get into the main though, but you know these hellions are here, and they're going to clean that up perfectly. But he did get a really good scout out in the meantime. We do have a banshee in production already from innovation. So he definitely is going to be able to react accordingly for that. And he's going to be able to throw down the spore crawlers. So definitely those six lings were not wasted. And he's actually oh. continuing up with this pressure here. Non-stop coming in with lings. Actually not letting Innovation take any uh, Hellion pushes this time. He's like, I know you like Hellions on this map. I'm not letting you do that. I'm coming in with these speed lings and I'm just going to keep up this pressure over and over again. You know, he's abusing the opening of the map and, you know, the way that it's not walled off quite yet. Okay, I really love what Dark is doing in this game right now. He just running his links around and dodging Innovation's line of sight so that he can get these links in before Innovation realizes what's going on. Mm -hmm. It just, it hurts. Innovation has lost seven workers right now, and that's not what he wants. He doesn't want to lose that many workers. No, Although, definitely to not. To be completely honest, he's still not that behind, considering they're very even in worker numbers, and Dark had to really cut off drone production to be able to produce 
that many links that quickly. Definitely, that's very, very true. We do have the Cloak Banshee coming in now. It's actually in Cloak, so these queens aren't going to be able to really defend it, and they're just going to have to lure it over towards the Spine Crawler. We're probably going to see an Overseer come in any second because the layer is completed. We have some good transfuses going off, and the Overseer is here, so he's going to be able to, you know, deal with this Banshee accordingly. And so we do see Stim coming in here from Innovation instead of a Command Center follow-up. And a, an armory on the way, so he's going to stick to hmm. this two-base pressure play for quite some time, and he's definitely going to go for that that hellbat pressure that we saw on uh, Belshir Vestige. Yeah, that just like the last game actually is. The, oh, I do see a cyclones, cyclones. Going to add oh. some cyclones into this mix. Actually, he just started okay. producing. Yeah. This is this is really good. So he's got the hellbats for buffer, and then he's got cyclones to take down queens and roaches. Yeah. And actually, this overseer, this overlord from Dark, though, he is able to get good vision. He has a really good positioning of that overseer, or the overlord there, so he's gonna, he can see ev all of the units that Innovation has at the moment. We do see a third CC coming down here from Innovation now, so now he is getting ready for that three-base economy, but, at, but since he is, he did invest into an armory and did invest into Cyclones, he needs to kind of move out and deal some damage. Because if he just stays back and tries to play passively, the Dark is just going to drone up like crazy. And okay, never mind, I take that back. There's a Nidus network here. Oh man. Dark, Dark has a Nidus. We are going to see Nidus action here. This is, like I said, this map is really good for, you know, the shadowy portions of it. The, the giant area that your main is at. So this is going to be amazing okay. to see. So remember what we talked about earlier about how innovation is so good on this map and Novea, you said Dark needs to do something a little unpredictable? Mm-hmm. This is it! This, this is it! it. This the is Nidus. the unpredictable thing. Now, Here and even the night is going down while the Hellions are actually moved out. Like, oh, this could go either way right now. It's, um, we, you know, there are roaches at home. The Nidus is complete, and the Queens are filtering out, and the Hellions are being forced to go back home. He knows that this is not good. He has to get back. He doesn't have much at home to be able to defend against this. Oh, man, the Ravagers here as well. Oh. Okay, this is bad for innovation because all his production buildings are right here. And yeah. if he loses that tech lab, he doesn't get tanks anymore. And the army supplies just so big. Oh. The dark. He's got 72 army supplies versus 38 of innovation. Yeah, I feel like we're going to see the GG called here soon. That was a complete turnaround from Dark coming in with that. The SCVs are even having to get pulled now. I mean, even if he can defend against this, he's pretty much lost almost all his workers here at the main. He lost all of them at the main. And, I mean, he's just going to be so low in supply. You know, we still have more units filtering out. The creep is being spread. And the GG is called. And Dark takes game number five. The Taking the lead in this score... Three to one. Three to two. Three to two. My bad. My bad. Uh, it's, yeah, three to two. Um, so the thing is, like, with Dark understanding that innovation was going to be vulnerable, went for that Nidus network play and got into the base. And innovation, if he had, if he had some Banshees, he should have brought him in and sniped down that Nidus network. Because yes. the follow-up from Dark... He could have prevented, and that's what could have. forced him to GG out. Definitely he... could have. He wasn't able to get the Nidus down, and that's what killed him, just letting more units come out. Yeah, had he just defended the first wave attack, but then killed the Nidus so that there was no second wave attack, mm -hmm. Innovation still had a chance to get back into the game, because he was on three CCs. It's true, but I mean, I do think he lost so many workers that it still was going to be pretty heavily in Dark's favor. Novea... I think we may have a video coming up. You Is are right? correct. Right? I think so. Yeah, dude. There's some there's some video thing, right? What, what so. what's that about? What what is this gonna be? Huh. What Let's check it out. Hey, Harry Arthur, you posted on Reddit that it was your birthday, so guess what? From all of us here at Polygon Gaming, happy birthday. Enjoy the Dark vs. Innovation show match because it is our birthday gift to you. Hey, you. Happy birthday, man. Happy birthday, Arthur. Yo, dude. Happy freaking birthday. Arthur, thank you so much for spending your day with us. You could have been doing anything anything on your birthday man and you chose to spend it with us trust me man we really appreciate that i hope it was everything you wanted it to be but 
there's still one last person who wants to tell you happy birthday. He couldn't make a video himself, but either way, he wanted us to let you know. Happy birthday. All right, we're back, and before we get into our next game here, I just want to talk to y'all a little bit about how you guys can help out with creating future events. We already talked about the Macherino prize pool that you can donate directly to, and I understand that we've already raised a good amount of money, so great job, guys. But if you want to see more events coming down the line, the place to help out with that is our Patreon page where that money goes to the future events so we can make sure that our players get paid a good amount even if there isn't too much crowdfunding donations uh, for Macherino. And there are a bunch of rewards that you can get depending on how much you decide to donate. You can get a casting raffle for a chance to cast with some of the people at uh, Polygon Gaming. There's a coaching raffle. We have some great guys affiliated with us, some really good players who would be able to do some coaching for y'all. You can join our Skype hangout. And there are also just other things. For those of y'all that do not know, Polygon Gaming creates more than just these events. So we love making these events. We also have a YouTube channel where we make other videos, instructional videos, just fun, silly videos. And that is just what we do. And we would love for y'all to support us with our Patreon page. So with that out of the way... I know that y'all want to see some more StarCraft. I want to see some more StarCraft. I'm going to give it back to you guys, Seeker. All, All right. right. Thank you so much, Felipe, for that. <laughs> no, Vea, we're, uh, we're becoming like a casting archon here. That was a... Uh, we both said all right at the same time. I know, right? <laughs> what was that? <laughs> <laughs> uh, we're definitely... We're, 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 de we're definitely understanding each other. <laughs> yeah, for sure. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yep. Oh man, yep. this game though, this if Dark wins this next coming up game, then he's going to be the winner of this. I, I don't think innovation, I, I, knowing innovation, he's not going to allow that to happen. It, you don't pretty think sure, so? <laughs> I'm pretty sure he's going to pull something out of his bag of tricks, force, yeah. him, force the game seven. It's innovation. Like, he doesn't want to go out like this. I mean, he was down. <sighs> Actually, that was the other opponent. Never mind. <laughs> I was going to talk about innovation versus Soki, but Soki was the one who won. <laughs> oh, <laughs> uh, let's see. Whoa, are there any matches where innovation was down? Uh, I can't think of any. He's so good. He's never down. <laughs> I, I I think at one of the 2017 IEMs he was, and it really looked like you know Dark was going to take the win, and he just kept coming in with streams and streams and streams of Marines and units and just really overtook them. One of the IEMs? Mm-hmm. Uh, oh. Huh. From this year. This? Katowice? Or World Championship? I think it was the first one. I couldn't pronounce that part, so I didn't say it. Okay. <laughs> I don't think... I don't know if that innovation faced off in the IEM. I, I saw it on YouTube. I'll okay. send you a link later. No, you're probably right then. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I don't want to argue against it if you saw it on YouTube. Yeah, you're probably right. Dark versus uh, Innovation. Oh, okay, so Dark dark uh, Innovation played at the World Championship. They were in the same group. Mm -hmm. And Innovation won 2-0. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's oh. what I was talking about. So, really? I, I mean, okay. I've watching those games, you know, they really, really, you know, saw Innovation really tear up Dark, so... <laughs> but he wasn't down. <laughs> he was down a little bit. Like it was, it looked like it was going in innovations or, or in a uh, dark's favor, but then innovation just turned it around. Oh, you were talking. Oh, okay. I think you're talking about IEM Gyeonggi, which was yeah IEM before the world championship. But again, he wasn't down. <laughs> okay, well, he so, seemed down this, to me. I was rooting this is, for him, this is and what I'm talking about. I thought he was gonna win. And I was like, "Yo, dark's got this. Dark's got this." And then all of a sudden, I'm like, "Oh, innovation! Wow." <laughs> yeah, that's this is what I'm talking about. He he doesn't go. He he doesn't like fall down in the sets. So, you know, I mean, maybe he's off his game, or maybe 
Dark really wants that revenge from his SSO loss. Right. <laughs> like, I wouldn't be surprised if that's what he was aiming for. Like, okay, you beat me, you beat me 2 0 on SSL 5, but guess what? We have a show match coming up, and I'm gonna I'm gonna win this one. I'm gonna destroy. The grudge match. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so spawning in the left-hand corner of the map, we have, playing as the green Zerg, we have Dark. And his opponent, it is going to be the machine himself, down to three. Can he force out a game seven here? It is going to be innovation. And did you just, did you just say Dark was green? Yeah, yeah. my bad. I My thing was messed up. All right, I, I was like, I was like, Man, yeah, I know. I, I was looking at the color. I was like, like why is it? Because yeah. I have it on green for my own, so I was accidentally <laughs> looking at dark screen okay. still. So my bad. I, I was, I was like, Man, he is I, purple. <laughs> am I all of a sudden getting hit with some sort of disease that that makes right? Colors? I, I, like, oh my gosh, I've yeah. had to cast with somebody that was colorblind. Really? Yeah, and they they would say the wrong color every time. It was completely <laughs> hilarious. Well, if they're colorblind, they can only say a certain number of colors, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but purple blue they wouldn't know the difference exactly um but good to know guys innovations red dark is purple okay hope you guys are very well aware of that yes uh, novea's <laughs> not colorblind i'm not colorblind we're good we don't need Technology. to go get we don't know we need to go get our eyes checked now why don't we go ahead and talk about the games instead of talking about the colors of, that sounds of, good of, of, of we do topic. have the three reaper push again the three racks reaper push innovation really wants to abuse this map here and he's oh he's going to be doing that reaper again but this yeah, over thing, overlord right over top of him the thing is dark knows that's why he went pull first again and then went for roach war and follow up like right he knows this is what innovation is going to do so i don't like the fact that innovation chose to do this build i mean yes i don't down, either you're down two three and so you do need a quick win here but do you it's too predictable it's too mm -hmm. predictable dark knows exactly what you're doing it's too predictable yeah, I mean, it's such a small map, too. I mean, he should have known, that, you know, the over... He probably did know, you know, the Overlord is going to get in there for a good scout. We already have the Roaches out to defend against this, and I don't really know how much damage Innovation is going to be able to get into this. He's going to be able to deny the production of the drones for some time, but, I mean, these Roaches will be able to probably fend this off. Well, that's the thing that you... I'm glad you mentioned that it's a small map. The reason Innovation went for this build is because he knows the rush distance is a lot closer. Mm -hmm. So he knows the Reapers are going to get there a lot quicker than they did on Paladino Terminal. I'm sorry, this is Paladino Terminal. On Proxima Station. But, like, Innovation is in a bit of a situation where he, he just really has to kill Dark here. Otherwise, Dark's going to win. He's going to yeah. win the series. Yeah. I mean, this this might be the last game here. If uh, I mean, Innovation's going to have to either really commit to this really really hard he's going to really need to get that expansion out and i mean he's building that he does have the command center in production now yeah the thing is dark if there's anyone who understands three rash reaper it's dark because he lost to byun in the blizzcon finals because byun abused the three rash reaper so hard mm -hmm. and dark knows that he needs to be better at defending three rash reaper and that's precisely why this is getting shut down so hard right now. <laughs> yeah, I'm really glad to see the fast roaches again. I really like a lot of stuff we've seen out of Dark. It's been very, very good counters for just everything that's been going down. Yeah, in addition, he's doing the exact same thing he did on Proxima Station. After about nine Reapers, he just cuts off production, adds on Tech Lab, gets Stim, adds on Reactors, goes for the Marine follow-up, goes for yep. his expansion. But he's just, he's, he's very behind. An army supply, yeah. and worker supply. I mean, I'd like to see Dark, you know, try to take advantage of that window before the tech really gets out there, and for him to be able to do a counterattack, maybe with some of these roaches that he has. But you know, innovation is just going to keep abusing the mobility of the Raven of the Ro or uh, of the Reapers, and he's just going to keep coming and trying to do as much pressure as they can and keep uh, Dark at base. Oh man, a couple of these Reapers getting there I might be able to pick off a couple of dr drones here, actually, but. The Ravengers are here to clean that up, and Roaches did it's stop the mining enough. again for some time, but he might be lo he lo quite a bit of Raven or quite a bit of Reapers there. My bad. <laughs> yeah, it's 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 not enough. This this is not enough damage right now for Innovation. He's lost too many Reapers and hasn't traded enough to force Dark to play defensively. As soon as he's cleaned up this Reaper, Dark can actually go for a counterattack. Yeah. Innovation 
doesn't even have siege tanks, so what's he gonna do to stop these roaches and raptors? And he can't do it with just marines. No, not when dark not. is such a huge advantage. Yeah, I mean, he, he cleaned that up. I really hope that he goes in for the counter here. There's only one Reaper left. He has the window of opportunity right now. So now Innovation's decision here is going to be very crucial as to whether or not he can win this game. Because right now, he is stuck at home. There's no way for him to move out until these first sets of medevacs come out. And he absolutely needs to keep Dark at home while he gets his third command center up and goes for the three base economy. Because right now, Dark is, he blocked off the Reaper pressure beautifully and took almost no economic damage. Now he did take some economic damage, but up until that point, he was in a perfectly good position. And for innovation right now, he needs to deal some sort of damage here. Otherwise, the, the game's just going to keep skewing in Dark's favor. Yeah, it's just the snowball effect will take place. And he's coming in right now trying to do just that. He, uh, it's just a very small Marine force. He's probably just trying to do some harassment. He's going to be able to pick up those Marines when he needs to because there's quite a bit of Ravengers there. But if Michael properly, you know, he could be able to take these out. Wow, Innovation's actually going to commit and try to harass here and there and attack that giant army instead of retreating. Well, it looks like he's going to have to retreat now. Though. Yeah, he's probably going to be seeing the pickup any moment. There it is, and he's getting pushed off. Uh, I think Dark is doing a great job just taking control of this map. He's going to be trying to go into the third here, but, I mean, the Ravagers and Roaches are so close. Dark's army's right there, and he's ready and prepared for this. But he's got plus one attack and combat shields is finished, so now this is a much stronger army than before. But once again, he's going to be forced to retreat. Okay, but, but Dark is Dark is forced to use his army right now to defend, and he hasn't been able to drone up as heavily as he'd like to. It's 44 SCVs to 55 drones, and actually, Innovation is preparing a 5 racks follow-up, so this is a two-base all-in from, from him over here. He has no yeah. plans to go for a macro transition. You are correct on that. Uh, we do actually have some investors out on the field, though, so that's going to go really well for Dark to be able to maybe get a good fungal on some of these medevacs and possibly be able to pick them off with the queens. I think Dark understands that Innovation is going for a two-base all-in. He he kind of he probably has dealt with this before, and so he's going to get investors so that he can fungal growth the medevacs and prevent the drops from dealing any more damage. And then he wants to fungal growth the main army as well because Innovation is probably not going to split. It's a Roach Ravager army, you don't split. See, there it is! The fungal There's a fungal! Off. It was a beautiful, beautiful fungal, but we do actually have a little bit of activity in the main. It's a multi-pronged attack happening here. Innovation was have to, did get forced off, and it looks like Dark's going to be able to clean this up, but this, at its third base, he's just taking a significant amount of damage. He's going to be able to, he's going to lose this Infester here, and it looks like he's actually in the main take, or in his uh, natural, actually also taking out the Evolution Chambers. This is a really great hit from... Uh, innovation here. He did quite a bit of damage. You know what, Novea? I think Innovation may have done it. I think he may have caught Game 7 because Dark is very behind now. Yeah, like that totally turned everything around. He is able to clean off that, but there was still so much going on all at the same time. <sighs> Alright, actually, the, e the supply is very even now. 58 army to 58 army, 44 workers to 47 workers. They're so even right now. Now it's all going to be about positioning play. The innovation needs to siege up and can't lose this to, to close fire. Here we go, another battle, and the Fungal Girls are going to come in! Oh, getting the Metamax. Beautiful hits on the Metamax. We don't have any queens over here to actually take them out, but he was able to clean up even the tank, everything. The Fungals are going to be able to take out some of these Metamax too. If he gets one more hit on them, those Metamax were like at no health. So now Innovation, still stuck on two bases, he's almost mined out his main base. Now he's going to have to lift his main command center over and fight over here to his third base so that he can keep on mining. But Innovation now realizing the frontal attack's not working, I need to change, change things up, going for the multi-prong drops that he loves so much. But the fact of the matter is, does Dark have enough? Yes, he does, but is can Innovation cause his opponent to be distracted enough that he can deal a lot of damage? Yeah. We do have another drop coming in. Great pickup, actually. Will the fungals go off on those medevacs? No. But we we do have uh we do have Burrow uh getting pr getting uh researched as well. So that might be very helpful t for Dark to be able to you know maybe jump in under these tanks or maybe you know Burrow his drones when he needs to when he's getting attacked from these drops to protect them. The Burrow is perfect because he's only on two orbital commands. He has a very lack of scans available for him right now. 
<laughs> and the burrow is exactly what Dark needs in order to be able to shut down his custody. Very strong push out. coming in. Beautiful pickup on the tank there, though. Yeah, the corrosive vials hurt a lot right now. Dark is a very scary army, and he's got four fungals, Novaya. Oh, beautiful fungal taking out a liberator as well with the fungal. I feel like Ravengers are just amazing against liberators. Dark is in a very sticky situation. I don't know if he's going to. I'm sorry, not Dark. Innovation. I don't know. I don't know if he's going to be able to shut down Dark's army. I, I don't think he. I don't think so. I mean, this is really iffy. It's really. He's just. He's just not in a very good position. Okay, here we go. This could be the final battle of the game. Dark going in here with his roaches and ravagers, trying to pick off anything he can. The innovation does still have takes back. He's up the back, but no more liberator. And the last of his army is and the GG. Oh wow. Whew. <laughs> oh wow. I wow, really thought, that was I, amazing! Wow, what a game six! <laughs> what a game six! I'm, I'm just, I'm nerding out so hard right now. I, I know, right? Like innovation has so much momentum going for him right now that I really thought, even though I, I, I expected a game seven, I did or too. game or game six, but I expected a four-two finish in innovation's favor, not dark. Yeah. I, I definitely thought it was going to get evened up again, and Innovation was going to... He really did try to do that, though, but, you know, Dark just shut him down, and that was just an amazing, and amazing series, guys. Dark takes the win on this show match. That was beautiful. That was I, an incredible best of seven series, Novea. I don't know about you, but I'm so glad I was here to cast what was one of the best TVCs of this year so far. Yeah, I agree. All right, guys, so that was the best of seven series. Dark does win it four to two, and I believe we are getting ready to close out. So thank you guys so much uh, for tuning in. I am going to go ahead and throw it back over to our wonderful and talented host, Felipe. But, uh, Novea, thank you so much for being here and co-casting with me. Yeah, thank you for having me. This was a lot of fun, and I enjoyed it, and I hope to see you guys again. My mic was muted, but it's not anymore. All right, everybody. So with that show match wrapped up here, stick around just a little bit longer because we still do have a raffle going on for an SC2 Replay Stats account. If you do not remember what that is, SC2 Replay Stats is an amazing website that allows you to upload your own StarCraft II replays to it, and you can upload a bunch of them, and it goes into this tool which has all this information about your games and tells you when you're supply blocked and act all this other stuff and actually is able to pretty much give you advice and coaching and it's all just this program and it's really awesome and i highly recommend you go ahead and enter the raffle i'm not entirely sure how we're doing it now since the uh since the bot broke uh but it it looks like all right it looks like we are gonna be doing it over on our twitter page so give us a follow on at polygon sc2 and you will be entered in a chance to get that sc2 replay stats account now before we close out just remember to Go ahead and check out our YouTube channel where you can see even more content, a lot of educational content, specifically a lot of Zerg stuff right now, but who knows, maybe more stuff in the future. And also, go ahead and check out some of our production staff. We have Marsh Gaming, our observer. He has a fantastic YouTube channel where he does viewer and Reddit submitted replay casting mostly so if you want some of your replay replays casted by him go ahead and send those over to him and of course we have myself i have a youtube channel as well i've not been updating it recently but soon enough uh more stuff will be on there go ahead and follow us all on twitter as well the team twitter is twitter.com slash Polygon SC2, myself at Felipe SC2, we have at Team Liquid Seeker, we have at Marsh for our Observer, 
and we are actually going to go into arcade games now. So go ahead and vote on what you want to play. I believe there is a straw poll somewhere uh, in the Twitch chat right now where you all can vote on that and then join us over on the Asia server in slash join Polygon Custom for some arcade games after these matches. All right, it sounds like we have a winner for our raffle. It is Tiberion89. So congratulations, Tiberion89. I'm sure you will be contacted on how you can receive your six months SC2 Reply Stats code. And of course, remember to go ahead and don't and take a look at our Patreon and consider becoming a donor there because that is how you fund future events for us. If we can reach certain goals, we can get enough money to host events every three months, every month, all depending on how much money we get from you guys, the community. So it's in your hands now. Go and check out our Patreon, guys. Alright, sorry for that guys. Uh, there was actually, we, we did all the Archon stuff already uh, in preparation for, for these uh, two great players to show up. We had a little uh, summertime, wintertime, tropical thunder time. Uh, having lived in Korea, can I say the dry ass wintertime and the hot, humid. Oh my god, it's fucking hot uh, summertime. They don't have that there, they should have one time zone, so we used up all our arcade before that. Thank you very much for uh, joining in. Please excuse the funny headdress. I was not supposed to be on camera. Thanks for joining us uh, at Polygon SC2 and all that other stuff Felipe told you. Here's from all of us. Thank you. Good night. And thanks for everyone that told us we could use your music. You've been seeing the titles on our screens. Go check them out if you like them. And if you don't, well, go rage by tempo.
NLJ, Game Boy Jones, transmitting to your dimension. Oh yeah, you gotta get swifty, you gotta get swifty in here, it's time to get swifty, uh oh, you gotta get swifty, oh yeah, take off your pants and your panties, shit on the floor. Show these rappers how they need to miss some me seeks. Acting robotic, no feeling in their beats weak. Me and Jones only give the most when we speak. Yeah, we make them say. Show me what you got. Man, man, I got a lot. I stay charged up like the ship's battery. Rock the switch planets and they charging me for battery. After me, man, I swear the purge is the detector. So, so, so fly, you can call me bird person. Too many clones, but I'm the first version in this universe. I can keep the earth turning with the words that you heard. Man, we coming at ya. It's, it's, it's a bird. It's no, it's tiny Rick. His real body's in the back, and it's dying quick. Got it back, put the process all up in reverse. Tough these comes up like our verses, put them all up in the hearse. Morty, good music comes from people who are relaxed. Just hit a button, Morty, give me a beat. Oh, man, okay, all right, um. 
What is that? Get him off. Get him off. Can't just touch Gory Bell for free. All right, all right. Can't touch Gory Bell for free. <laughs> Get Vicious back. I mean, calm down. <laughs> Trying to force Chelsea to commentate. Chelsea just.